Hello, hello, hello. All right, how are we doing? Good evening. A little bit of an early start, but uh, you know, why wait? Um, yeah, some things have been done offline. Not many, but some. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit low energy. I kind of need to work on it a bit. I've done literally nothing because it's so fucking hot here. The house was 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so I'm thinking, well, he's 80 Fahrenheit in Celsius. 80 F in C, which sounds like I'm swearing. It's 26.6 in the house. And outside currently, it is it's 91 on my phone, so that's 32. Wait, that's not right. 91. Yeah, 32 point, well, 33. 33 Celsius outside. Lovely. All right. Uh, guess I better get going. I kind of feel a deep shame inside you. It's just general, just general life shame, or did you do something shameful? because you're a City fan from, like, Germany or something. <laughs> I'd feel shameful if that was me. Oof. Can't think of anything worse. Your sub ran out. Put it back on then, you scrub! <laughs> Put it back on! You dick! I'm only kidding, mate. <laughs> Imagine treating your audience like shit like that. Some of them get away with it though, don't they? Some of the streamers are like, yeah. I live in an oven? Yeah, pretty much. Wait, what is wrong? Why isn't the stream showing on my dashboard that's actually going out? There it is. Okay. There we go. Thing. We're pretty much ready to go. All right, yeah, I think we're ready to go. Um, all right, let's just do a fake clap sync. There's no real reason for it other than me scanning over how to highlight the footage. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Reckonist. Welcome to Football Manager 2019. And we're in Season 2 and the closing stages of Season 2 with Millwall where we're playing a mix of a real anti-football football. 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 
and um, we've sort of like changed it a bit because we figured out that when we defend very deep and we start snatching wins, the AI programs our chance to win a little bit higher so they don't attack us. So it's two defending teams and we end up either drawing or, you know, one of us snatching a goal. So it got a bit dull. Uh, currently sitting ninth with a lot of loanees. Uh, over the January window, we loaned. Who did we loan? Eric Garcia, who has been injured. Just come back. We might use him a little bit. Um, we have sold Arch. Archer left because he, A, wanted to leave, and B, Jed Steer was just as good in a different way. And we already had him here, so that was a bit of a profit. Problem is, Jed Steer's injured now. And Joe Hilton is our main goalkeeper, who man with a weird sh proportioned face to neck. Uh, but an Everton trainee, but I noticed as well yesterday, I looked at the youth, when I looked at the youth intake and I looked at our under 18s, we actually have a goalkeeper who is probably better than him um, from our youth, Dom Granger. It's only a two, two, to possibly a three star potential. Maybe he'll get on the pitch at some point if this other, this other lad has a bad game, but he hasn't had a bad game the last three. We'll go into that in a second. Um, we have also on loan added Maitland Niles is here. A big fan of his versatility in general. Even if I was like, you know, Man United, Arsenal or something. I, if, I, if I was Arsenal, I wouldn't like get him out. He's so versatile. He's the kind of guy you need to win leagues. Uh, Cavare, I think that's it. He's not played for a bit because Alan hudson has been on fire. Uh, and he's probably his final death role as a, as a professional at this level. Uh, Madsen is still here. Callum Hume was a guy we got on for free, I think. Oh, 325k we spent on him? Seriously? Director of football bid this, but he's gone on loan. He's done all right. He's got played nine, three assists since he went on loan very recently to Fleetwood. Uh, so he's there. Um, Luca Rizzo is still about, but he's getting less and less useful the more we play, unless we play the defensive one, um, the anti football. We've got Oliver. I use my ears as air brakes. Burke, who I believe is at Celtic now, right? I think he's. I think he's back at Celtics. I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, he's here with all with all of his pace. He's played six, six scored two and one assist, which makes him almost the top goal scorer. Top goal scorer of the team is Lapadula with five. <laughs> five. That shows how defensive we've been. We've also got Jack Harrison um, on loan for Manchester City because we've got an affiliation with City, which is a good thing, really. So Harrison and that other winger, I always forget his name. He's a good bet for the future. I'd like to keep him, though, for another year because he is fairly decent. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, Lapadula. Ravel Morrison is still around. Um, I, think, I think he's on loan at Sheffield United now, right? I think it's just happened. Oliver, how's it going, mate? And yeah, so that's pretty much the squad lineup. I have thrown out a thousand scouts uh, to look at things based on feedback from here. Um, I've also evaluated our youth candidates and determined they're all crap besides this one who might be okay. Because <laughs> he's five star for Millwall. Uh, which might mean, you know, he'll end up being a championship player at best. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, Ashley Deman. Damon? Damon. Damon? Damon. He's training with him? Oh, okay. Well, he's there. Uh, what else has happened? Right. I did have a, a little scooter loot for end of contract players. One of them came up in my search for a um, striker. Uh, somebody mentioned if you're going to use a striker up front on his own, the best one to do it with this year is probably a beat line forward attack, and I didn't disagree. Uh, but this guy is going to be a free transfer. Um, oh, no, it's not. Well, no, it's not a free transfer. No, asking price, 675. So he's cheap, basically. This guy is cheap. Samuel Longo, who is Italian um, at Inter, who's not played for Inter as far as I can tell. No, he's never played for Inter. Oh, no, he's had a game. He had a game six years ago, seven years ago, eight years ago in game. So, yeah, he's um, got some pedigree, but he probably needs to get his teeth into consistent matches, and we'll see more about him. The fact that he's just completely good all round. There is nothing attacking he's terrible at. Nothing. Uh, everything's 11s and 12s, which around championship level is fine. So 600 quid, 675, whatever, for him is pretty good. Uh, replacement for Lapadula, who also there's Bonatti or Bonatini, sorry, who is sort of that same guy but on steroids, also a lot more expensive in wages. Uh, but currently interested by Bologna, he might be alone if he doesn't go anywhere. Both got plays with back to goal, which is kind of what we want. We kind of want Robert Lewandowski light, 
Um, we'll do pressing forward or beat line forward, depending on what. Uh, but yeah, initial scouting's gone out as well. This is the alternate system where we think we might win the game. This is what we've been doing. Um, playing Hutchison out of position as a ball player. That's where the um, City guy, Eric Garcia, comes in if you want to play him there. Uh, standard 4-5-1 four, four, in my mind, but uh, three, well, two playmakers, sometimes three. Very much skulls can't tackle -y. But instead of having a, like a standard defensive midfielder here to win balls back, we've got him up here, and that's Ryan Tunnicliffe. So two playmakers and a stopper. Uh, we've also got Harrison and Gronley on the attacking side. Ideally, I don't want the other way around. I'd want the inside forward attack on this side and the winger on this side. Um, but based on this, the personnel I've got, this is the best team I've got. Uh, Meredith is injured. How bad's this? 3 to 11 days. Well, we've got young Bolivan, Brian Olivan, who's not played at left back, but I've been training him all year um, to do the wing back stuff. We'll see. He's a natural, like, proper wing back, but complete wing back spot. Doesn't matter. He's going to play a few games. We've got Birmingham tomorrow. Also, uh, based on the results, the very good results in the Passion for FM. Um, um, training schedules. I've made my own, again, based on his influence. Uh, so I've still got Passion for FM Defend and Passion for FM goals, considering that goals won got us 5, 9, 12 goals in 3 games. Uh, I'm considering that a successful thing to build on. Um, so I've made my own schedules with... I've got rid of the old ones as well. I've got a balanced one. I have one for tactical familiarity especially, which will be used mainly in pre-season, I think. Uh, and, you know, another one, a general as well, yeah. A general training, familiarity training, defending training, scoring training. I th don't think you'll need many more than that. Um, we'll see. Did you see what Che Adams said about Southampton? I saw you link something, but I didn't click it. Elaborate. Did he say it's a stepping stone? <laughs> something like that. He's a confident boy if he, did, if he is. And that's pretty much what you said. I didn't really watch the thing, though. Samuel Longo is now in contract talks. He only wants nine grand. I'm fine with that, but let's drop it down and stick him a goal bonus on. There you go. Top division wage rise? No. Easy to please as well. What is your problem? There must be a problem with him. <laughs> I'll see what the scout report says before I confirm it. I can just be late. Able to win the league? What's ambitious? Jack Harrison trained really well. Leonard tr did not train very well. Lapadula is always in the top two of the best trainers. Always. And he's like an old man. He's like 30 now and he's on loan. These are good things. Oh yeah, shaved. I look about 12. I didn't shave properly, unfortunately. I didn't have everything I needed. I'm trying to go over a bit here again. But yeah, now I look about 14. Mm. So yeah, at some point, I'm expecting a parcel delivery. It may or may not be my steering wheel for the F1 stuff. Looking forward to it. Right. We have four to five favorites over Birmingham, who currently sits 14th. We are away. But I'm going to stick with our, my Pragmatic 2. Incidentally, the um, this one, I've called this, I've reclaimed, renamed this one, the 4141, the Hoof. Because I'm trying to, I'm going to imbue the characteristics of the tactics into the names as well a bit more. I know a lot of people do things like Liquid and, I don't know, Horchensia and things like that. I don't know, something pretentious. Um, but yeah, it's, it's available for patrons now at the right uh, tier, the 499 tier and up. So, as requested, I aim to please. I don't think I can put any more anyone else on the bench. I can only have five, right, because of um, trainings. Oh yeah, Crouch and... Um, Tim Cahill are back down in the reserves where they belong. Um, letting them retire gracefully with their coaching badges. Uh, hopefully I'll get to keep them. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep doing this. Um, see how we go. Six, four substitutes from seven. Can I pick another sub? That I don't know about. Brendan Galloway? Oh, yeah, I can. Can I do another one? Yeah, I can. Oh, well, if that's the case, I can use this... Uh, where's that under-17 keeper? Granger, get him on the bench. Why bother risking it if we can get away with it? There we go. Yeah. So I had a problem with... Um, players from the club on the bench. Because we've had a lot of changes. Right, they're doing a standard 4-4-2, so this is the anti-formation for 4-4-2. 
effect. Well, natural. Natural enemy to a 442 is our formation, so this shouldn't be much of a problem. Just got to identify Davis, I'm guessing, is the playmaker. Play your own game, we'll win. Uh, Dave Davis. Passing 12, work rate. So he's a ball winner, uh, as is Colbeck, really. Defensive midfield, a ball winner. So where's the, the risk coming from? There's a fairly quick winger there. And Diego Jota, is it? Oh, it's just Jota. Inside forward or wide playmaker. Okay, so he's listed as wide playmaker on, on that. That's, maybe that's what he'll do then. Yeah, oh, look, the AI's opposition instructions have been sorted. Crunch him. Uh, this other quick, this other left winger guy put his left foot only, so we can foot already done. One of these will be a target man, I'm sure. Advanced playmaker support, so he should be like a deep striker, and your target man. So we can foot the target man. Yeah, do you know what? We've got numerical advantage here. Let's not worry about it. Lee Camp is in there, not that one. <laughs> Another Lee Camp. Okay, Medina, right back. Nothing special. Christian Pedersen, ooh, composure nine, finishing, good cross, ugh, gets forward, long flat throw. Uh, Michael Morrison, do you know what? I just think percentage wise, we'll just win. Just leave it as it is. I don't think we'll need to do much else. We've got there, on our left is Harrison versus their playmaker on the right. Also on our left is Olivan, who's a little bit out of position. I wonder if their right winger will get a bit more room than I programmed him to get. Oh, he's no way into the game. Oh, Jota with a free kick. It's a shot and saved by backup Hilton. I like it. I like it a lot. Hutchison, early ball from deep line. Sorry, ball winning playmaker mode. There's Burke. What a ball to Harrison. Emphatic counter attack. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good, right? It's not just me. That was long ball. Two winger, crossfield ball, other winger, one touch, finish. That is a counter attack. <laughs> wow. Can't argue with that one. Very good start, very good start. So, how many more signings are you going to make, Blue? <laughs> oh, Lapadula's throwing goals. Keeper's going to get before the keeper into an open net. Camp in the middle of nowhere. He may as well have been camping on his line there for all the good it did. Lapadula threw a goal. <laughs> Holy shit, this tactic, man. Look at that. Bop and around proper. That's a proper round the keeper as well. Love it, Dub. Love it indeed. Games and games. What's going on, you beautiful man? Oh, yeah. Very arousing things are happening over here. How about yourself? 50 50 possession. Because they can have it, but we've got we've got a defensive midfielder screen in front of their two outlet, uh, their two offensive outlets. Good, two nil, three shots. They've had four shots all on target. They must be from long range. Two from long range. Okay, never mind. Well, we're still, we're still going. Assertive, very pleased. Don't get complacent. I think it's the shout. Look stressed. Nicholas Madsen looking stressed. Oh no. Do we need to put Maitland Niles on for him? Yeah, why not? And we can put Tony Cliff at the back just, just for the lulz. And come on. There we go. Maitland, Niles, and Gronley. Swap you two around. Yeah, that's better. Go. Just joined. What's going on? How far are you in? Season two of the end stretch. We're pretty much sorted out our anti-football now. And we're actually trying to play some good football. And it seems to be working incredibly well. That's 14 goals in four games. With no reply. <laughs> hey, just just changing the shape slightly, but the style of play completely. The anti-football stuff I think is pretty much nailed on. It's just sucking the life out of every game we play. So if we got if we're playing up against a big team, that's what we go against. But we're now we're a medium-sized team. It's getting more difficult to judge which one of these things we should use. Pressure, 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 pressure. Uh oh. Out of position. There's Medina. Oh, headed straight back on goal. Hilton, the star. He's not conceded in the three games he's played, despite being a really terrible goalkeeper. <laughs> like, a really bad goalkeeper. All right. Oh, go on, Berkey. Pace 18. Off he is. Off he goes. 
Plays it off Maitland Niles. Have a dig. Off the post. Rebound. Oh, it's a good tackle. I'm not sure who that was. It Morrison. Captain Morrison to the, to save Birmingham. Okay, got set pieces pretty much nailed on as well. Oh my god, Cooper. <laughs> so close. Set piece. This, the far post cross to, to Cooper from Gronley is like the best free kick I think I've ever made. It's so obvious. This is, sorry, best corner. Right, anyone else tired? 75 for Hutton, but he's getting old. We've got to have a right back and replacement. Brendan Galloway, do you want to play ball player defender for a bit? Why not? And we've got Ravel Morrison. Let's give Lapadula a rest. Go on, Ravel. Make something happen. Long throw from Hutton to Morrison, but Harrison's there. Square it. Oh, Mike Niles with a lot of yard. Oof. Oh, he's going to have a... <laughs> well, he had a shot. It was nicely blocked, but nothing else happened after that. He just knocked it to the side and banged it in again. 3-0. There we go. Uh, shot. Oh, it was a cutback, and it was blocked, and everyone stood still, apart from Maitland Niles. <laughs> he just smashed it through. All right. 3-0. This, keep this form up. We've only got like two big games left because we've already played the bigger clubs. We actually might end up with a playoff spot here. We're like uh, ninth, I think, at the start of this game. We've, gone, we've hit a run of form since we made the changes to slightly more attacking and started using uh, our own little training. Oh, what a cutback. Alan Hudson. Oh, I thought it was in at the stanchion. Oh. Jack Colback. Oh, oh, he's got half a yard. Oh, half a tackle and it's Hilton again. He's there. Good lad. Ryan Tunnicliffe is accepting rollouts from the keeper. What is wrong with this picture? <laughs> Daniel, how's it going, mate? There's Ravel. What a pass from Ravel Morrison on the volley. Burke into the space. Harrison Lee Camp tips it onto the crossbar somehow. See, the false the false nine re worked really well then. I love that. I want to re oh, there's no point in going back over it, but how deep Ravel Morrison uh, was then created so much space. It was the perfect trap. All right, we got six minutes, four minutes left. Anyone need four? Oh, that's it. We're, we're out. We're out of uh, subs. Okay, never mind. How's it going, Daniel? You all right, mate? We're doing well. We're doing well. So it's three more goals and another clean sheet, which are priorities, I guess. There's a <laughs> There's a sale on an Amazon. There's a 32 inch telly made by from some, some company I've never heard of. A 32 inch telly from TCL is $80. So it's like, what, 65 quid. I can't tell if that's uh, a good deal or not. I think you have to wind it up. I don't know. I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing wait. I'm doing weak. Camero, clean sheet. Yeah, Pepe hands. Actually, I think that should be a Geralt. Clean sheet should be Geralt. Reco Geralt. Dolomey, thank you for the follow, mate. Uh, very good performance. Smashed him. Joe Hilton, what is wrong with you? Look at Joe Hilton. He's being carried. Somehow we've got we've, we've had four clean sheets in a row with him in net. Oh, no, he's only played one. Oh, okay, that's his second game. Never mind, ignore that. Ignore that. But, you know, he's played two games at Championship and not conceded, so his reputation's going up. Classy Harrison. I like Harrison. Yep. I like him. I'm going to try and keep him. Millwall maintain unbeaten record. Jep Nelson again. I did make an inquiry and they're not bothered about him. That telly sounds like a proper build-it-yourself prize. Yeah, I know. One second. I'm not sure what I'd use it for, though. I mean, I have... I could use it here, actually, on my setup. They scored? What? Saves coming. Loading it up again. Playing the game again. All right, you can have one. I missed it completely. <laughs> oh, shit. One second. Sorry, guys. Okay. Let's go then. 
Bring your own, it comes with its own soldering kit <laughs> to set up. Uh, okay, player of the month, Jake Cooper was third. Young player of the month, Gronley. Championship goal of the month, Madsen was second. Let's have a look what, no, sorry, third. Let's have a look for what happened. Versus Chef Wednesday. Was this when we destroyed them? Was it five in the end? Oh, Gronley. Oh yeah, Madsen, edge of the box. Oh, yeah, that, that definitely deserves a mention. And I think, you know what? I think that might be my first manager of the month it were for Millwall. 1-0, 0-0, 5-0, 4-0, 3-0, One goal conceded all flipping month. And we played six games. And it was the last minute. Oh, look at that. Jovel Cic on <laughs> without a work permit. Is that Valadoid? He's got player of the month. He's got 14 goals. And he's surely he's got to be in the national team soon so then I can get a work permit. Surely. Keeps getting the player of the month. Surely. Surely, surely. All right, let's keep going. So now we've got Sunderland with the donation FC badge. Oh, great. Excellent. I think I'll be able to get him anyway at the end of this season because of just the wages I'll pay him. And I think Serbia will be in the top 50 by then, maybe? I don't know. I hope so. If not, I'll load him out again. And it might end up me have to sell him, but I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine asking for a work permit at the end of the season. I think. Hmm. So what have you been up to? Daniel, what's your day been? Tell me about it. Oh yeah, this guy. Badram Biliku is my best prospect. 17-year-old Kosovo guy. I think it's the end of the season, Doc. I don't know. It's a safe bet to wait until like July, I think, anyway. Safe bet. So this guy has played 65 games already. We're in 1st of March. He scored 23 goals from midfield, 7 assists, 8 of them are penalties, 8 man of the matches, 7.17. Could improve a lot. This is a good indicator. He might be good. He might be really good. He's hard. His second nationality is English, right? Yeah. But he's... I don't... Nations eligible for Kosovo and England, so he's got a choice to make. Oh, I'm his favorite personnel. I'll thank you very much. He'll end up playing for Kosovo. I don't think he's good enough for England, but... You know, if these sixes end up turning into eights and these eights turns into tens, you know, there's definitely potential. He needs to stay back at all times with Flair, like two. He needs to be uh, probably an anchorman, ultimately. He's 5'11". His jumping reach is only 11. Balance is pretty poor. Yeah, well, a couple of years of development. Maybe a loan next year. We've got plenty of um, affiliates in the league levels that he'll want. In fact, can I load him out now? Is it possible? Sometimes you can. Go to count. Go to Stockport. End of season. Midfield. Go and play for Stockport County for a few months. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Get me some, get some first team action. Doc Pluskin, how have you been, mate? Good to see you uh, consistently returning in. How's things? What have you been up to? Sunderland the 21st. <laughs> Donation FC <of> badge. <laughs> oh no, we're going to play with Buzz. Shit. Not really. Also, you could sell Dijan for... Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I want to keep him. Try and get 40 for him next year. Millwall Youth Candidates. Yeah, okay. So we've offered... I'd also help recommend signing for... Just, yeah, whatever. Whoever you've offered, I'm sure they're good. I mean, let's just make sure that he gets in. I'm sure everyone else will be fine. That's the only one that's half decent. Oh, this guy. Yeah, let's make up numbers. As it says, we need numbers, so we'll just offer these people that are in the top half of quality. I mean, we haven't invested a penny in youth since we've got here because, you know, we're playing against other London clubs. There's no real point in doing that until you're met like the biggest club in the flipping in the city. There's no point in really trying to invest because it's millions and millions every year, and we don't have that. Hopefully we'll get lucky one day and get a proper true five-starer. An England international. Well, who knows? Uh, that'll do. Everyone else can just do one. 
All right. Okay. Trying to get Sunderland back into the Prem. How has that gone? What are the financial problems? You still have, like, decent chairman, though, who's, like, ambitious, but just a bit rubbish. Okay. Sunderland. Analysis from the last game. Okay. They're pretty bad at the end of the first half, so remember that. I think because we're... Yeah, we're going to stay with our more our pragmatic approach. In fact, we'll keep the same team if we can. Jed Steer is not quite ready. Tell you what, Joe, Joey Hilton, you get another game. Are we at home? We're at home. We're playing Granger just because he's a youth product. <laughs> There's very little difference between them. There's very little. One and a half star current ability with a three star potential. Uh, they're both the same. In fact, you're a better goalkeeper. You've got better mentals. He's got better agility. That's it. Reflex is 17. That is a fucking big number. Yeah, fuck it. Let's play. Let's just play with him. Is he ready? Is he fit and everything? Let's just double check that. Yeah, he's fine. He's ready to go. Yep. All right. Granger, you're starting in front of your mates. Here's a ticket for your mum. Can't get rid of Catamol. Of course you can't. Is he on like 30 grand a week still? Um, right, who else? Oh, Cooper's a little tired. When's the next game? 62. So we've got, oh, we've got three days. And it's Watford, which is a big game. Alrighty then. What we're going to do is we're going to swap Hutchison. And we're going to take Cooper off. And we're going to play uh, Garcia. That might mean I have to take off someone else who's a lonely but a bit tired. Any of the lonies tired? Not a single one. <laughs> Shit. All right, Lapidula's off, Bradshaw's on. Will that let me start? Oh, we'll find out in a couple of days. Oh, shit, there's a couple of days for them to recuperate. Well, those two can have a rest. He's on... Lee Catamull is on 38k in League One. <laughs> no way he's leaving. No way is he leaving. 38 grand a week, sitting there, yucking it up, playing against flipping part-time plumbers. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. What a what a good joke that is. Lee Catamol's agent. Find out who he is. He knows. He knows. Alright, loads of scout reports coming. Look at those at the end of the season. Alright. Okay, some of the youth guys are signing contracts. Goody goody gumdrops. Logo is granted. Okay. Do we have our scout report from him? We do not. I'm going to delay this for just... Oh, I can't delay it. 600 and... Wait, how much? 600 and... Where's the... Oh, it's free transfer. It is a free transfer. I thought so. Wait, am I bidding for him then? It's a free transfer. He is a free transfer, right. Oh, but he is transfer listed. That's where I got confused. Yeah, okay, so 650k value is his sell, but free transfer at the end of the season, I can't see any downside considering he's going to be on less money than he is now at Inter. I can't see a downside with this. He's in, he'll be in his peak as well. He needs to get down and play some football. All right, yeah, free transfer. Sure, there's a striker sorted. A solo striker. Guardiola unhappy with Garcia's loan agreement. He's been injured for six weeks, mate. Thank you, Pep. Sergio Gonzalez has interest in Javel Oh, right. So, Balador, you'd want to keep him. Yeah. I'm not going to confirm anything. No comment on whatever that question is. Yeah, not going to confirm anything. How is he done in total? Sorry. He's played 25 and scored 15. He's getting better and better because he had really low turnout when he, when he first arrived. 7.18. I mean, value. Stick it at 30. Unofficial valuation. Someone's got 30. Sure. All right, Sunderland. Sunderland. Will you let me play with this? No. No more than five lone players, currently six. Okay. 
Madsen, you're out. And we're going to put... Corey Smith is not quite ready. I'll we'll play Brendan Galloway, defensive midfielder. That doesn't sound too ridiculous. Yeah, do that. Um, so... Cooper on the bench. Galloway doesn't like that. Okay, well... I don't have another midfielder that can do... Yeah, just do a job, mate. Just do, just do a job. Wait. Oh! We'll do what we said before. Swap you around. Maitland Niles is better going forward than Gronley. Gronley's main weapon is his set pieces. And... You know... Yes, I'm aware. I'm not really too fussed over that. My my loyalties aren't divided, though. I'd want England to win. But then I kind of want the Americans to win as well. Just because of, um, you know, things. Pedro Obiang. Long time, mate. How have you been? Nice to see you back here. Welcome to the Millwall save. How have you been, Pedro? It has been a while. Unless you're a different Pedro Obiang. How many of how many people on Twitch are called Pedro Obiang? I've <laughs> got the got the donation FC kit as well. I think this might be the first time I've ever played them. While they've been in a uh, database with the with the different kit and badge. They got Rui Fonte going on. Oh, Gronley, far post. Oh, no, he's done it close to Tony Cliff. Really? At the edge of the box. I suppose that's where he is. Oh, deflect. Oh, my God. What happened then? Maitland Niles with... No way did that just happen. How... Is that deflection? That took a massive... That took a massive deflection, right? What happened here? Crossed it. Gronley's got it. Oh, he headed... Oh, my God. <laughs> It's what? And another! <laughs> I need that sound bite. I need to get it. I need to get it on my di on my thing. Oh, Alan Hutton with a heady clearance. Pressure, 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 pressure. Oh, I didn't do any tactics or anything. Oh, forget it. I trust the the, the opposition. Sorry, the uh, assistant to do the opposition instructions. That was a long time ago, uh, Pedro. If you missed anything, it's all on the YouTube channel. Alright, 1-0. Interesting. We are dominating them with less possession. Are they trying to bore us to death? Are they trying to use our own established tactic against them? Us? Don't get complacent. Good. 6-4. Jack Harrison. You want to come off? We have... Shane Ferguson. <laughs> He's the only one who can really play there. Excuse me. <sighs> All right, well, team talk. Let's have a go at both of these loanees. Not happy. Yeah. All right, well, we'll keep you on for now. We are winning. Stop at 16, see what's what. Yeah, Hutchinson's playing on the left now because we've got no Cooper. We're resting Cooper for a game. Uh oh, poor clearance by Pelter. Olivan is up there. Maitland Niles cuts inside. Oh, straight into Yates and a long ball clearance, which is all they've been doing, I suspect. Oh, it's beautiful. Olivan. Oh, whips it to the opposite flank. Burt, one touch. Cross comes in near post away by Manga. There's George Honeyman. Is it George Honeyman? Is that his name? Uh oh, Fonte. Cabano! It's gone in! No! Alright, okay. Young keeper beaten on his first day. Let's let's dig him out, fellas. Let's dig it out for him. Lapadula on. Hmm. I think they need a scream, to be honest. Yeah, with um whenever um Ryan Tunnicliffe for the defensive midfielders out of position. Long balls become much more viable. Oh my god, that might be why. Okay. 
Uh, da -da 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 stopping things through the middle, just go down the flanks. Okay, that's that seems simple enough. No, wait. Um, oh, we already are. Okay, stop underlapping and start overlapping. The block in the middle. Also go to attacking. Yeah, good. Let's, let's help this young goalkeeper out. I don't want him to go back to school tomorrow. Oh, Lapidou was surely fouled then. He was clearly pulled. Oh, clearly. Who's taking it? Oh, Lapidou is taking it. All right, I should have met the key. I should have let this 17-year-old take it, but I wasn't quick enough. Fuck. Go on, Lapidou. Lap. Oh, yes. 2-1. Okay, let's pull it back just a tiny bit. Did he chip that? No, oh, okay. It was just a pretty weak penalty, to be honest. So, the AI just went, hang on, you shouldn't have got that penalty. Make sure they have a 35-yard thunder bastard within two minutes, yeah? That was a finish and a half. Holy shit. Bang. Oh, keeper, no chance. All right, we go, we go again. All right, what's happening? Okay, we got 20 minutes to figure out exactly what's happening here. They've had three long shots and three shots on target. One of them was blocked. One of them was clear cut, which they scored earlier. We have had a lot of shots. Six of them have been blocked. All right, we need to shoot on site. I, mean, I know we're at home. We're going to shoot on site. Um... Jack Harrison, you've been having a bit of a mare. Do you two want to swap just for lulls? Because Burke can sort of... Oh, wide target, man? Sure. And you can do inside forward attack over here because you're left-footed. All right, we'll try that. Something different. 20 minutes to go. I thought that was Harry Kane coming on then. Herbie Kane. All right. Demand more, I think. Yep. Just go for a shout of demand more. Come on, boys. We're still shooting. Nope. Looks like a draw. This looks like it's full time. Oh, my God. Why didn't you pass it then, you moron? Forward. Nope, full time. Oh, well. Interesting game. Um, Cabano. Oh, yeah. Okay. He looks quite decent, doesn't he? Yep. Okay, I'll take two all. Should have won it, though. I'm going to tell them we should have won it. They have found that Swiss female national team player that disappeared a day or so ago. Why did she disappear for football related reasons? Is she dead? Fill us in, Don. Also, we're seventh, guys. Uh, it looks like playoffs are definitely gone. But this is a big couple of weeks. Watford and Burnley. Watford have turned their season around because they were pretty much bottom. They offered me a job um, a while ago. All right, so we stop there. We're going to play scumbag. I'd say you're not scumbag. Anti-football is the shitty tacker, I should say. She drowned in Lake Como. Why did she... Was she... Did she kill herself? Or do you have any other information about that, Don? All right, defensive midfield. Uh, we'll play Williams for this. Since Tony Cliff is out. Oh, no. Madsen? Yeah, well... Okay. It's like Thompson's getting in on it. 
Harrison, no, that's Ferguson. We'll keep Burke on. Yeah, that's pretty good. A lot of injury people coming back. Good. Anyone not been playing well? 6.7 for Eric Garcia. Well, luckily Cooper's here for that. There we go. Granger can come off then for Joey. Actually, no. Are you better yet, Jed? Yeah, I think you should be back in at 85. You've got two days. What's wrong with him? Growing straight? I'm sure it'll be fine. Olivan. She's out there on a trip with a friend. Don't know much more. Oh, dear. That's unfortunate. Let's get Maitland Niles on the bench. All right. Wait, can Kapuska play left wing? Oh, he can. I don't think he'll know how to play in this system. Oh, he's not better than I thought, familiarity wise. It's not too bad. All right, uh, Olivan Meredith, are you back? No, close though. Yeah, we'll play that. Two slightly injured players, Kapuska. Inverted support. That's the only change I'll make. But uh, yeah, so this is the the system we've been sucking the life out of teams. I'm 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 very aware that Watford are on a charge. So I'd take a point, especially away. Your lap around quarter on TT is pretty damn good. Thank you, mate. <laughs> I did smash about 60 laps in to get it. Oh, they got Troy Deeney. Shit. Okay. Yeah, I went to sleep foolishly. Both of us fell asleep last night about 8 o'clock and both of us got up about half one and she went back to bed and I was like, I am not tired. <laughs> Gronley's praise is good. Palmer Brown. Scouts are after it. Oh, yeah, this was. oh, failed fitness test from Jets there. Well, let's play the 17 year old again. Yep. <laughs> All right, uh, 17 year olds in. S couple of changes to what we usually have, but personnel have dictated it. And basically, the lack of Ryan Tunnicliffe has caused the problem. Oh, we could play Williams instead of Madsen. Yeah, we'll do Williams because he can do this. Yeah, Williams. All right, let's go. Oh no, shit, no more than five. Garcia off. Wallace on. Okay. All right, Watford, the informed team. That's a, pre it's a, it's a Premier League team, let's be honest. Let's uh, do some opposition instructions on that. Uh, media giving you a lot of credit recently. They seem to like that. Okay, right, goalkeeper Pontus Dahlberg is actually fairly decent. Composure's 11, that's low enough for me to press, I think. Christian Manea. Remember, Troy Deeney's up there, so it's going to be crosses to him. So his crossing is 14. So, do you know what? We close him down, and we can put him. Left side, Messina. Left foot only, gets forward. Close him down, we can put as well. If, okay, Dale Fry. Stays back at all times, but he is a central defender, suspected of playing ball player. Oh, you will be Kamara. He's a decent, not much we can do to make decisions are 11, concentration 12. He'll make his own mistakes if we let him, so just leave him. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Decore, how is he still there? Decore is a hell of a player on this. Sergio Oliveira is deep line playmaker, says there. Player 10. Yeah, you need to be closed as well. Tackle hard. Tom Cleverly just, you know, don't really have to close him down. No. Mateus Pereira, left-footed. 
inverted winger support from the right. Bravery is eight. So I'm going to smash into him. Yep, good. So I don't know about closing down. No, we'll leave that. Jail Carval Carvalho. Bravery, seven. Work rate, ten. Jumping reach, five. Okay, uh, man mark. Yep, <laughs> thank you very much. That's what they've done. And Troy, I'm going to score against you no matter what you do, to be fair. Dini. The only thing I remember about Troy Dini is... Well, he was great for us in every game that we bought him. But he missed a lot because of his traits equipped with his attributes. Do you know what? Leave him. We can foot. Let him do what he wants. All right. One all. Oh, sorry. Nil nil would be lovely. Evening, Javits. How's it going, mate? So, the idea of this tactic is to suck the life out of all the games. Minimum pace. No risk with the ball when we do have it. We should have a bit more possession than what I'm seeing, though. But, you know, our main goal threat is set pieces, just like that one. Penalty! <laughs> Thompson was tripped. Is that Lapadula up front? Two and two penalties. Go on, Lapadula. Rolls up his socks. What a penalty. There he is. Lapadula Dula. That's why we love him. Reli Miss the reliable. Take like a right penalty. 20 minutes in. We've had none of the game other than a court, nearly, nearly a goal from a corner and a goal from a penalty. <laughs> Smashed off the crossbar of the rebound. <laughs> Difficult strike. Imagine poor Dom Granger at 17 years old going up for an aerial challenge versus his Troy Deeney. <laughs> poor kid. Here we go again. Williams is taking it. For some reason, Williams is taking those. Do I not have the set piece itself for this one? I don't think I do, actually. Think about it. Yeah. All right. Three shots. None on target. All off target. One of them hit the post, though. We've had one clear cut chance from the Peno. Okay, pass completion. They're not really pressing. Troy Deeney is getting passed around. That's pretty good. Their defense can't do much, but Lapidula is going to fade because his stamina is pretty low. It's like 10 or something. Don't get complacent. Doing well. 6.766. 76. Gronley is tired. Okay, we'll take Gronley off then and put Maitland Niles on. Makes sense. Who is on set pieces here? What's happening? What is on with set pieces? When you're ready. When you're ready. Thank you. Oh, no one is on set pieces. So, so this must be a previous build. Oh, well. He's off now. Oh, well. Go. <laughs> Same again, please. Just suck the life out of the game. Snatch a goal from a set piece or a mistake. Nicely played. Troy, elbow in the back of Dom's head. <laughs> Poor Dom. First of all, it's called Dom. Which is a problem. Okay. 70 minutes, we'll stop. Good. 70 minutes. They've made substitutes. Troy Dini is off. Sergio Oliveira is off also. What are they doing then? Opposition instructions. What's happening here? They've kept... Oh, they put Pena around around. Okay. Um, different player, to be fair. Very different player. Comes deep to get ball. Advance forward is what they've got there. Let's just do ask assistant. Yeah, tell you what. Trust assistant. Fuck okay. it. Um, we, 6.4 for Oliver. We have Jack Harrison. Do you want to do like an inside forward run? Yeah, inverted winger. Kapuska. Yeah, let's take off poor Lapadula because he's running around. We've got Ravel Morrison, false nine in. I'll do. There we go. All right, confirm changes. Thank you very much. Is that all three? Did I just do all three subs? Oh, I've done all three subs now, yeah. Okay. They're not 
really pushing. Look at that. That's right. That's how we do it. Keep it short. Oh, that's a terrible clearance. What was that? Good edit. Harrison is inside. Maitland Niles, surely. Kapuska! Oh, he's just a sitter. He's his right foot. Oh, he's right foot. That's why. All right. Concentrate. It's going to piss off some of them, but I'm not giving them a shout yet. So, oh. No, that's them. Uh oh. Away. Good ball. That's a good boy then. Pressure, 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 pressure. Good block. And we're away. Thompson, put it inside. Oh, keep your foot on it. Calm down. Calm down. Keep possession. Suck the life out of it. Oh, it's so good, this little system. We've got the yin and yang pretty much set up. <laughs> very defensive, again. Just so you know, this is all set on very defensive. Oh, shit. Is that it? Full time whistle. Good. I'll take a 1 0. Um. They didn't have a single shot on target. But they did at the crossbar. Nice victory, because they were the informed side. Now we got Burnley away. Somehow they're in sixth. Oh, now they're third. Brilliant. Um, yeah, playoffs are definitely on, fellas, because I can see us catching Norwich and Bristol. I can definitely see that. Mm, 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 mm. 13 matches without losing. I have a screenshot. Heads up about Ferguson. Uh, Hudson, talk him off. Yes, he's not playing because he's not good enough. We tried to sell him. Thank you very much. Oh my god, one second. Been... Wife doesn't understand the concept of I'm streaming. Okay. That's sure up. I closed the tab. <laughs> Got him. Got him. All right, 442 Burnley with who's Defrel? Ooh. Gregory Defrel. Nice. And Chris Wood, Premier League team, and there's Pedro Obiang <laughs> somehow popping up in Burnley. There you go, Pedro. Uh in all his glory. Tax and Gibson. Loughton and Joe Lewis. Jamal Lewis. Oh, they got the... Fuck, I always forget about him. 7.5. Well, he got a decent fee for him. Uh, Scott Sinclair as well. Yep, all right. This is going to be interesting. Well, we're, we're still keeping our, you know, our sucky. Sucky, sucky, we'll call it, actually. It's not a bad idea. Call it sucky, sucky. Uh, play style. We're going to be using it against them. Um, their target man is Chris Wood, who plays on the right of their 442. And our tallest player, and probably the, the best jumper in the league, is Cooper. And he plays on the left side of ours. So that's going to be an interesting lineup. He'll have to try and best him on the ground, which he might do. Jumping reach 19 is nothing to sniff at. Jason Dodd, please, for professional preparation. Burke out of Scotland, reckoning. Uh, Hughes talks up Millwall because he's manager of Burnley. He is. Question. I like to think he was being genuine. Sure. We are doing really well. They're down to fourth now after the games were played. All right. So it looks like we're doing chance creation and finishing next week. I don't know who we've got. It must be a weaker team because that's how I set it up. Lapidula training again. Nice to hear you say that. I appreciate it. Joe Hilton's not trained very well despite me giving his debut. Yeah. Dom Granger's been training really. Oh, look at his improvement. Look at that with the first teamers. Good lad. Good for him. <laughs> Good for him. Gets out Troy Deeney and Watford. That's impressive. <laughs> Don't care how old you are. Just look at his face. All right. Burnley away. Turf Moor. I'm sure Buzz will be watching. 
I've seen Boss for a while, if he's alright. Now we're looking 46 viewers. Hello, mates. Hello, mates. Hello, everyone. Good evening. If you are new here, why not click that follow button and become cool like Dolomy did earlier? But yeah, thanks for watching. I know there's a lot of Football Manager streamers. I'm really grateful that you decided to click on mine. All right, Rico bets. Okay, loads more scout things coming in. I don't even care about them until next week. Until next week. Until next season starts. Okay, Thompson. We're going to keep the same team. I'm going to make sure that the set pieces are actually set for this system now. So yeah, I've got two set up. Okay, it's just the it's just the takers I need to do. Um, Diego Forlan still listed on here? What the fuck? <laughs> Diego Forlan still listed on it, and they haven't got a long thrower set up either. What the hell? Okay, I need to, I need to spend some time at the end of the season on that. Long throws, right side, any side. It's Alan Hutton or Cavare because they're both right backs. It makes it easier to set up. Set pieces, corners. No, set piece corner takers. Uh, the corner takers should be Gronley on both sides. If not Gronley, I'll stick Maitland Niles on just for formation's sake. Free kicks, all free kicks. All of them are Gronley in all positions forever. Still got Diego Fall on there. All positions forever. When your free kicks are 20 or 19 right now after the injury, you don't mess with it. You just let him do it. Especially when you got Cooper at the far post. Just to reiterate, if you're not aware of who um, Cooper. Cooper's been our best player. He's not particularly great, but he's really good at one thing, and that's heading a football. Jump and reach 19, bravery 15, heading 18. That's, that's world class. Um, so we're kind of feeding everything towards him for the most part, but then there are some near post ones where he's not involved and it goes to Lapadula. All right, let's go. They were. Diego Forlan was here for a year or two years even. He got an extension, but he retired. In the reserves right now, we got Tim Cahill and uh, Peter Crouch coaching the under 18s. <laughs> All right, so Chris Wood's there. It's a target man system. Um,. We owe Burnley. Revenge. Uh, right, target man system. Chris Wood. We're going to man mark them both. He's really quick. You sure you want to do that? All right, well, the AI's said it. I'll back them. Stop these guys from crossing. Scott Sinclair and Goodmanson. Also, stop these guys from crossing. We'll do the same thing. Close down all wide players. We can put all wide players. Jack Cork and Obian can do whatever they want. I'm more bothered about what's the supply is. Stop the supply is how you beat Burnley. And uh, pretty much every Premier League team learned that last year. Took them a while though, like an entire year. Here you go, free kicks 19. Oh, I thought it was in. Thought it was in. I don't know if he's a single player as like world class, like top tier Champions League. Which is the best Champions League set piece taker? Who's got corners 16 and up and free kicks 16 and up? Anyone? This is a tough spot for me. I'd love Obi Yang to do well, but I support Rovers. <laughs> uh, Hakan. Oh, yeah, of course, Hakan. Then, um, yeah, other than Hakan. Not technically not Champions League. Yeah, we know, we know Hakan very well. We did a, a whole 40-part series with Hakan. <laughs> he wasn't very consistent with his free kicks, though. But because he has... I think he has tries from long, long range and curls, which makes it a little bit more difficult to be consistent with them. Uh, revenge again, I guess. Yep, sucking the life out of the games. We'll take this. Can we do it? Oh, one second, guys. Mail's here.
Steering wheel is here. Also, bullshit. Is that up? Oh, all right. Okay. One nil down from a peno. Oh, shit. Okay. Stop. Shit. Absent for most of the game. Okay. Maitland Niles. Okay, we're gonna have to push. Neymar, Pjanic, Mulgrew. He isn't Champions League, no. Um, let's get Harrison on. I know he's playing slightly out of position, but go. We've got 15 minutes. There we go. Turn and go. Turn. Forward. 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 Oh, Lamar as well. Yep. Gronley. Overlap. There's Alan Hutton. Cross comes in. Lapadula to Harrison. He's blocked. What a hero of Matty Loughton. Mark Hughes is waving his team forward with greater urgency. I believe Buzz... Actually, do you know what? I believe Buzz's season ticket is like here, by the way. I think it's right here. Oh, Hutton spreads it back to Gronley. Turn in. Coop. Oh, that's it. Okay. We're going to have to do something special. Here comes Ravel Morrison for Williams. We're going 4 2 4. There we go. Hopefully, he'll do something. Two of <laughs> this is a terrible, terrible system long term, but short term, it might work. Uh. <sighs> Get creative. Go. Meredith, turn. Ravel Morrison, no way! Oh, he's missed the serve! No, Ravel! No! All out attack. We've got literally moments. Oh, it's a corner. Come on. we still got a chance. Cooper wins the header. It's cleared by Gibson, and that's it. Turf more. Oh. Fuck. So there are some Champions League quality players that can do that, but no one's better than Gronley in the game, I don't think. Maybe Hakan. Shit, first loss in 14, but it was a way to our Premier League team. Unlucky. Yeah, unlucky. Hutton, man of the match. Missed chances. Yeah, Burnley are on fire as well. We outperform Millwall, apparently. Consistent. Stendhal. West Brom box Stendhal. Who's he looking at? Oliver Burke, always on loan. There we go. He didn't do much. Didn't do much today. All right, who's after this? It says match practice. I've got no match this week, so we got a practice match on Saturday. Sweet. I'm pretty good. Forgot I did that. Oh my God. Right. Yeah, so we got a week off. Sweet. What's the board think of me right now, actually? Enjoying times at club plans for me around a long time. Very pleased. Right, if you're very pleased, can I have a new contract? I believe my contract is up. I'm going to ask for one now formally in a board meeting, please. I'd like a new contract. It hasn't got a notice from our best run. Good. What the fuck? Is that Woy I just saw? Yeah, Woy's... I mean, I, I am Woy, Pedro. I am Woy. New contract to be offered. Contract renewal talks. Make most out of set pieces and play defensive football. That's a vision I can get behind. Um, I'd like to start... Just start working on our youngsters. Um, new philosophy. Develop younger players. I don't have any other changes to propose. They're happy to do that, so that means we'll be able I'll be able to hold their nuts over in a vice about investing in the youth. Percentage of club compensation required for managerial role. What? No, I don't need to. Alright, two years then. Fine. 
Anyone gonna say I'm delighted wrecking this is uh, staying? Let's find out. Potential issue with Olivant. Oh my god. You are more likely to play next year than this year, Olivant. You have been playing the entire year training as a left back. You have gone from orange to, to significant green. I'm gonna play you for the rest of the season. Forget it. I'm gonna play it. You know, let's talk. Let's talk about it with him. Want a quick chat? Um, I'm going to give you some time. No, uh, your concerns are fair. You're gonna start. Good. Won't let you down. You better not. Also, I should have really done. A, I'm happy with the form. I mean, that's quite a run of form, really, isn't it? From the Arsenal FA Cup knockout. Down there. Drawn one, drawn one, drawn one, 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 drawn one, lost. Down to eight now. I think we've got pretty easy games remaining as well. So, what is next? Games remaining. Swansea, mid table, Aston Villa, I think, are mid table now. Oh, they're third. Okay. Swansea, Villa, Forest, mid. QPR, lower. West Brom, mid. Middlesbrough. Just the brothers. Portsmouth. That Middlesbrough game's a big one. Portsmouth for lower and Bristol are higher. Okay, it's a mixed bag. We've got a mixed bag. We've still got an outside chance of promotion. Or, or playoffs, at least. Hmm. So now we're working on our set... Sorry, our goal creation and conversion, which includes uh, direct passing and wing play, shadow playing, transitions, chance conversion. Also, ground defense. Wait, hang on, is that right? Calendar this week is balanced. Oh, this is balanced. So it's a week of balanced stuff I've set up there. But then I've got the passion for FM goal scoring because we're playing like a weaker team in Swansea. So next week it's going to be quite intense. So I'm giving him a few, few, few rest days here. Okay. Uh, Adabayo, who? Sat oh, that guy. That guy doesn't want to get forward whenever possible. Low determination. I need to get him in a decent flipping. Should we move? I'm going to move the prospects into the first team for the remainder of the year. That includes you. 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 And Montel McDonald. What a great name. I'm going to stick in there. Then we're going to go for trading. And I'm going to go uh, mentoring unit. So we only have one. Let's assign another one then. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Did the youngsters get in? I think they did. Sean Williams, good. He's teaching those. And Shane Ferguson, Oliver Burke, Hutchinson. Do we have another significant influence player? Let's look at age. Alan Hutton, surely you're going to have a significant influence on these guys. Average. He's not been here long enough. Um, Lapidula's on loan. Meredith is a perfectionist. That should help. Average. Oh, well, we'll leave them both there, then. 16, 16. Yeah, okay. We'll leave that there. That's fine. See if that will help. Oh, actually, was Saturday included in that? I didn't even see him. He was not. Let's just add a player to here. Why isn't he here? Is he injured or something? Hmm. I didn't put, I didn't put him in. I did. Where is he? <laughs> I'm confused. Is he in the 23s? Oh, there he is. Okay. Senior squad. Training. Mentoring. Add player, sort by age. He's still not there. Have I got to move on a bit? Okay, let's move on. One click and then go back. There he 
he is. Saturday Adarabio. Okay. Oh yeah, put him in there as well. Why not? Significant. Yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on his low determination thing. His actual determination is five, so five. Sean Williams end of contract's got another year, so that could be a good little group that. Also gonna make sure these guys are all available, not for the under twenty three under eighteens, but for the under twenty threes. All of you. And Harrop. Yes. Yep, play for the under twenty threes. There we go. Alright, so we got some youngsters in. I don't think we'll be using them in the actual games, but you know. That's what I usually do at the end of each season. Actually, I don't usually do that when it's stream. I don't usually take the time to do that because you saw how boring that five minutes was, right? <laughs> Heads up about Kirk Vault. Oh, he's gone as far as I'm concerned. What a waste of money he was. What is this? Under 23 data analyst. Nines. Nine and two tens and a weird smile. Connor McGowan, 11-11-10. Jamie Bettison, 11, 10, 11, Gareth Carr. Okay, last click. All right, we're going to go with this guy because he was the best one. He wants 900 quid. No. You can have two years, but it's 850 a week. Good. Chat is very quiet. Have I done something? Am I still not? Am I still streaming? Yes. You're very quiet, fellas. What are you up to? I'm suspicious of all these people in here with no chat, as I'm sure Twitch's mods will also agree. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's, he needs to go. Hughes could leave Burnley, apparently. Good. We got insulted by something you said. What was it, Don? It's 4th of July in two days' time. As an Englishman living in America, this is the time, the best time to stay indoors, i found. There's all sorts of cool shit happening. Wife's got four days off as well, which is convenient. It's a secret. All right. Jamie Betterson, thank you. All right, now actually, I can ask the board to improve. Our training facilities are being improved, but can we increase our youth level? Yep, because I've made them promise. Also, can we improve our youth data analyst facilities? They agree with that. What about no youth bonus, no youth uh, training? New stadium? Can we expand the stadium or build a new one? Are we already expanding the stadium? What is the stadium capacity? 20,000. 19,700 used normally. Built in 93, it's not ancient. Not yet, maybe if we're allowed to expand it. We'll see. Uh, yeah, okay, you can leave. Sure. Okay, you can leave. He's played how many games? 10 and 4 subs. 14, 18, 26 games as a striker and not a single goal. That's worse than Diego Forlan. <laughs> Ironically, who I signed him to replace. Montel Jordan. Cavari injured. Great. We tried to sign Bentner Don. He was not interested. You'd know that if you were around anymore. <laughs> we tried to get him. We tried to. Wasn't having any of it. All right, Harrop. Um, wow, he's been in that group for a week. His determination shot up to three. Not even a week. Low determin low pers low low determination personalities seem to be abundant. 
I wonder if we can sort that. He said that as well. We looked. He's too old. What about Arnautovic? Am I going to be able to afford Arnautovic? Come on. <laughs> what about Arnautovic? I, I hear Messi's pretty good camera. We'll have a look to see if we got any money from Messi. We'll see. Getting in the playoffs will be good. I don't know if we'd ever get, get through. The, the other teams are too strong. But I think with these two setups we've got now and with our training finally sorted. Oh, yeah. Sure, adding to free kicks. Yeah, Ravel Morrison should be on things if he's not. There we go. Oh, shit. I should have set the uh, system to the one we're going to be playing so we could get... There we go. Right, okay. So, presumably, Nicholas Madsen is back. Line playmaker, and then we put Gronley as the support because we have Maitland Niles as the aggressive. There we go. What a great player he is. Kaputska, you've had played a few games. We didn't play particularly well in those few games, so Jack Harrison's coming back because he seems to score. Burke, 7.28. He's been our best player. Okay, other than, well, yeah, he has been our best player. 7.26, 7.20, 7.15. Okay, Alan Hudson. How are you feeling, Alan Hudson? You're doing good. We need to replace him. I have I have him to take advantage of the fact that he has got great good positioning but terrible pace. I'm having him sit narrower, which kind of limits um, certain attacking threats, but he makes us short up defensively. And with Burke on the, on the wing in front of him, that's going to be pretty good. Hmm. Okay. Lapidula, 6.7, but he's our top scorer. Let's keep him on. Yep. All right, let's go. I just signed Di Marie in 2024. He isn't really going within my rule set, but as he's retiring and really cheap, I picked him up to work with my unambitious striker with actual potential. Let us know how that works out, Don. Look at that. Move the youngster to the first team. Best trainers, all of them. Dom Granger, Billy. Oh my God. They've all reacted quite well to the tra the change. Holy shit. His determination went down. But everything else has shot up. Literally a day. <laughs> it's, it's been like a week. Oh, fucking hell. This guy's got... This guy might make it, you know. Potential to be an excellent rating for the senior team. So he's potentially a championship level player. Good. Like a really good championship level player. Because in the first team, I can actually give him things to learn now. Um, Flair is two, so I want him to stay back at all times. No, just trust me. Do this. No, wait. Mm, no, trust me. That's a good idea. Wait, okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Off the ball, he's eight. His work rate is high. He's also very brave, but tackling is terrible. I mean... Shoots from distance, his long shots are seven. That's a terrible idea. I'll tell you what, let's start by removing that. Let's remove that. To restrict the number of long shots he takes. Okay, Kevin, so the, okay, that's a good idea. Let's get rid of that, first of all. We've got plenty of time. What are the other youngsters? Let's take a peek. Montel McDonald. You are not a great prospect, but you're a prospect. You're a striker who likes to round keeper and play way out of trouble despite having poor technique, poor touch, and poor flair. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to leave him alone. I'm going to leave him. Ashley Demon, All right, center half. Um, six, three, jumping reach 13. He might, hmm. Tackling seven, bravery fourteen, marking eight, positioning nine, anticipation. He's pretty slow as well. Let's see if he can get him to stay on his feet, because he's not gonna be the most mobile chap at 6'3. Assisted player who likes bravery. Okay, what do you suggest? Simple passing game. I agree. Yep, good. Simple passing game. Passing is four, absolutely. His vision is five. 
for a small in. Lucky, right, Lucky. Shoots with power, runs through the center, finishing his seven. That's good, really. He just blasts it because he can't finish. He's also got pretty bad composure. Flare is 13, runs a ball through center. Teamwork six, work rate seven, technique 13. I don't know really what to do with that. Maybe what's his preferred ball? Not ball pass. Oh, run with the ball more often. Run with the ball more often. Okay, what do you suggest? Knocking ball past opponents. Okay, that was my other one. Who's either, either going to go dribble more or dribble less? Okay, we'll take that. Because he's going to be quick, no matter what. I don't think he's dribbling to go much higher than 12, but his pace might. Okay, Saturday. Right back. Right only. Work rate and teamwork. Bravery. Tackling is good for a 16-year-old. Strength is 6. I suggest passing six it's short passing game again. Yep. And here we go. This is the one we we're looking at. Okay. Bajram Biliku. Shoots from distance. Did we just do this? Yeah, we did. <laughs> I thought, wait one second. All right, Dom, what are you going to do? Eccentricity is 15, reflexes. Kicking is 10, one on ones. Throw in, throw in is 8. Work on his weaker foot. That's the only real thing we can try there. Develop his weaker foot. No, try it. Just go for it. Just go for it. And the final one is Robert Harrop, who is 6'6. Six six. Aggression. Jump in reach. Poor bravery. You need to stay on your feet. Somehow stay on your feet, but be aggressive. Okay. So that'll work. You've just... Oh, okay. Stay back at all times is also a good one. Flare two. Yeah, see? All right. So he'll never go forward. Good. That's all sorted then. Let's move forward to an actual game now. Schwanji. Four to six favorites. Swansea currently 19th. Oh dear. And I might have fallen. All right. I think we're pretty much set. Three playmakers and a ball playing playmaker. Okay, go. God damn it. <sighs> All right, well, Kaputska needs to come off then. Tony Cliff is yeah, Tony Cliff can be on the bench. Yeah. Oh shit, we're not I could have I should have played Stair. I haven't played Stair, I've kept the 17 year old in there who's not very good. Jordan are you? Is the other are you there? Yeah he is. Oof, Maitland Niles is on a runner. Lapadula. There you go. Get in the box now, lad. There we go. In the box. Lapadula's there. Oh, it's fouled. Surely Burke. Oh. Should have finished that. Gronley, far post. Nobody there. Oh, what a tackle, Meredith, lad. Straight through to Granger. Lovely. Good save, Granger lad. Terrific stuff by Norton, but what a save from the young 17-year-old. There's Daniel James with the corner, and he's a free kick, sorry, headed over.
well. Pretty dull first half. We've had one shot on target, but six blocks. All right, we need to start shooting on sight then because they're throwing themselves into everything. Shoot on sight. Bang. Also, hit early crosses as well, just if we are going to cross. Hit early crosses. I'm not playing... I'm not streaming me setting up a wheel for half an hour, Ollie. That's not going to happen. Next time you'll see me, it will be on Saturday, and I don't think I'll be with a wheel. What a save from Granger! Granger's having the game of his life. All right, come on. More from Roberts, please. Leroy Fur, Daniel James. Off he goes. He's pretty quick. Uh, what a save from Granger again. We need to play better. Demand more. Granger's doing all. He's saving us. All right, 60. Lapidil is doing nothing. We're going to get Morrison on. False nine. What else? Gronley's doing nothing. All right, go. Just go. Ravel Morrison's on. Something will happen. All right, walk it in for the next 15 minutes. Are we at home? We're at home. Shit. Here we go. Very nice. Oh, clear it. Thank fuck. <laughs> Blake's going to win those headers. Oh, I thought it was a ref. Shit. No! Baston Borgia, Meredith intercepts. Nicely done. Jesus Christ, Granger's playing amazing. <laughs> Pressure's on, they're coming. They're coming. They just need to stop. Oh, here it's a goal. The, goal. the game's already calculated a goal here. attacking. I don't know what to do really now. Go! Alright, a free kick please would be nice now. Was that a foul? No, it was. It was a foul, but not the right one. Wow, we've lost two in a row. Was never in doubt. Are you kidding me? We had 18 shots. Restricted transfer window ends. All right, Villa. Um, I guess we go scumbag for this. Return of Ferguson. Jed Steer also needs to come back now. After Granger's heroics, he's now the most popular kid at school. 
All right. Gronley, get over there. That means Tony Cliff, you're in. You've got cut leg. You'll get you'll get over it. dropping in again. It's very quiet afternoon. What are people doing? How many people are watching? How are there 46 viewers and so quiet in the chat today? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that about, Jov Eldritch? Oh, I don't need to apply right now, do I? I'm going to wait until the end of the season before I reapply. Are you all tapped out playing something or what? I mean, that'll still show in the metric these days because Twitch changed that so they can charge for adverts. So when I, I could press this, oh, no, that button. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I pressed the advert button without realizing it. Hey, what's that? Players to release. Set to release use players. Dong Da He. Scout him for Chinese shirts alone. Connor Stanley. Dim wait, Dimaggio Wright Phillips, please be a really. I didn't realize he Dimaggio. Pin Ian Wright has got a sense of humor, unless he was adopted, which is fine. Max Hagar. I really want that dong. Let me see it, please. Hmm. Crouch is approaching retirement. Despite his late spurt of excellence. <laughs> he's uh he's gone. Played eleven's good too. He, he, had a good, he had a good round. Sure I'll scout the Spanish under nineteen cup. I don't know who. GF are in for yeah, sell him. Just go. Yep, he's gone. Okay, apparently a cautious mentality is what the game suggests I do, or my assistant suggests I do. That's not gonna happen. But then return for Marshall. Hutton, welcome back. I wonder if Hutton will score today. Alright, very defensive. Four to five favorites, so this is a good idea then. Okay, Tony Cliff is out of match practice and shh, not fully ready to play. I disagree. Ryan Tony Cliff will play when he says he'll play. All right, Harrison, I need you on the bench, lad. Garcia on the bench as well. In case we have to expense. Oh. Nope. That's not going to happen then. So, Corey Smith. Sure. Okay. If you ain't all that dong, you need to get a Vietnamese player. Oh, okay. 
a little bit suspect, Dom. How's your week been anyway, Dom? Rather quiet, you're not enjoying the F1 content. <laughs> the hell's a Razor Wolverine Ultimate? Apparently it's on sale. Anyone know what that is? Tony Cliss got sent off after 18 minutes. Oh my god. Eighteen fucking minutes, lad. F1 is boring. Not if we're racing it, mate. It's not boring then. Their goalkeeper is sending long balls th forward with throws. I will very happily take a point for being 70 minutes with 10 men. Good, we got over their way. So they're gonna get a bit more brave now after a team talk, presumably. We've got revenge on. More to come from you. I'm gonna take off Horton. We got Galloway there. So I'm gonna put Galloway in the middle. Ball playing defender. Just, yeah, it's fine, just knock off. Okay, go. What have you been playing then, Don? Have you been uh, cheating your way to Steam badges? Like everyone else seems to have. I'm now level 70 on Steam. <laughs> 70. Oh, set piece. Here we go. Grandly far post. Cooper up the crossbar. Fuck, that's it. That was our chance to win the game. 10 men or not, that should have been finished. I'm going to praise the team, see if they know they're doing well. Well done. All right, 12 minutes to go. I'm going to go stupid cheeky. We're going to go for a win. Four, five, six. Here we go. Long throw from Burke. Gronley gets it. Oh, no, they're going to break the man down. Oh, shit. All our set... Oh, fucking hell. I haven't got a long throw on properly. There we go. Oh, the press in. Oh, it's a terrible pass, Hutchison. Why'd you do that? Oh, they're in. They're going to score. And it's my fault. Oh, Jed Steer, welcome back. Very defensive. And a concentrate shout, please. Good block. Same again. Uh, okay. Clear it. There we go. Referees give it. I'll take nil-nil, 70 minutes with 10 men against Aston Villa, who are third. Very passionate. Well done. You, Ryan Sonnycliffe, are a fuckhead and a dick. In that order. All right. Uh, let's go to training schedule. I want to see what the hell's happening. Queen's Park Rangers, uh, goals. We need to start scoring goals again, so we're going to start trading on that. And then we got a oh, West Brom. Oh, wow. Saturday, rest, Monday. Wow. Great. We'll do defense there. And then we'll score against Portsmouth. Okay. Not many game not many games to go now. Did you play board games on your own, Don? What board game do you play on your own? Come on, England. What's the score? What's happening? Is it just kicked off? It's just kicked off.
That'd be fucking great if the England finally win a World Cup and it's the women's one. Oh, I'd love that. I'd love that so much. Tony Cliff banned for two matches and a two-week raid. Wait, yeah. Developing concerns. Do you think I'm being too harsh on you for getting sent off 20 minutes in for two bookable offenses? Hutchison, talk him off. Might be difficult. Good. Ryan, you fucked that game for us. I can't let you walk out of here without punishment. Kirkvold, off you go. Didn't score a goal in like 30 games. Not acceptable. Almost made a profit on him. Wait, was it 800k we spent on him? 600k. But then there's wages, but still selling him for eventually nearly what we paid for him. <laughs> Not too bad. Oh, they moved the game back. Did they move the game back? Wait, when was this? Oh, there it is. QPR to West Brom is a couple of days. All right, okay. What game did you play? Done. Let me know. Also, Blue, keep me updated on the World Cup. Apparently, Gronley is now operating at a Sky Bet Championship level. So he's finally starting to come. Phrasing. Of age. He's only, 400, only worth 400k. He's still not an international. That's outrageous. Eight assists. Dominion. I have Dominion. It's currently behind this green screen. 1-0 already. Fuck it, Al. England is shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. It's a weird brand of football, female football. It is so fast. It's unbelievable how fast it is. It is pure. I'm going to gig and press you. That's it. It's to make them buckle. Oh yeah, change tactics. Sorry, Forrest. That one. Right, yeah, also Harrison needs to come back and start scoring. Gronley is injured. Tony Cliff is suspended. Maitland Niles should be starting more. How bad is your injury? You are almost full fitness. We've got a bit of a break after this. And okay. Gronley, you're staying on the pitch. You're staying in the team, I should say. Tony Cliff, I'm going to swap you for young um, Billy Koo on the bench. So Billy Koo is on the bench now. Billy Koo. Badram Billy Koo. So he's on the bench. Name's Christian Press. Is it basically just the American women running at four and a half times the speed of sound? Because that's what they do incredibly well. <laughs> Oh yeah, in about another year's time, fellas, guess what? I'll be an American citizen. Weird. <laughs> really, really weird turn of events the last five years of my life. <clears throat> so should I start supporting American teams? I don't know. I've, already, I've actually finally picked an MLS team to support, by the way. I picked it. Of course it's into Miami. <laughs> oh dear. I can't, yeah. I wasn't born in this country, so I can't be as a, I can't be president. But uh, yeah, I can have a nice eagle on my passport and start shouting things like America and stuff. You want number eight? You can have 38. How's that? Uh, I'm just gonna hand over to assist. Oh, good. Assistant did something well. About time we turn this around now. Can we just, like, smother these guys? How long have you been in the US for to get citizenship? It's three years. Um, basically, what happens now, in September, I have to apply for an extension to my work visa, my, my green card, as it is. Um, when that's through, 
that will cover me for another year. But during that year, I will be a, I've been here for three years and married to an American citizen, which means I can qualify for citizenship. And the only prerequisite I can I can see is I don't know if it's a citizenship test anymore. The only thing is I have to be able to speak English, which is a problem. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, I'll have an American passport and you know American privilege inverted commas. Yeah. You can become governor, exactly right. Governor of um yeah, that's not gonna happen. Although I do know someone who is the chief of basically the well it's not chief of staff, what's the flipping She works for the person who came second in the governor race in Michigan last year. She's like his PA or something like that. Um, apparently he knows who I am, he knows where I am, and he knows about my story with my wife, which is interesting story. It almost, it almost made its way onto a television show, our story. Almost. It wasn't quite romantic enough, I don't think. <laughs> Bar post cross Harrison! The header, the rebound! Oh, Pantillamon, that six foot seven magnificent bastard. So yeah, it's weird knowing that our governor of the United States knows who I am. <laughs> it's really weird. Was not expecting this several years ago when my life was in the toilet. Really, really wasn't. But here I am. I'm in America. And I uh, do a part-time, uh, as a part-time job, I stream and Meredith has scored. That's a rarity. This is first ever Millwall goal. Thought it was a rarity. It wasn't that. We've got a quite... It is quite a cute story. And it is definitely, you know... Yeah. It's definitely early afternoon television. But for those who know the full story, they'll understand. But I'm not going to share it entirely here, unless we can sell it. <laughs> if we can sell the story, sure, I'll tell everyone, but I'm keeping it to myself until then. Yeah. All right, 2-0. Uh, well done. Keep it going. Anyone tired? 72 for Gronley. Right, yeah, let's get you off, Mr. Gronley. Let's put Billy Koo on. Why not? Ball winning midfielder support. There we go. My husband devotes all his attention to a, a man named Cooper. Is he cheating? <laughs> uh. So explain football manager to me, Mark. <laughs> on a fucking daytime... <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Trying to explain football manager to a load of middle-aged... No, boomer Americans. That'll be interesting. Hmm. Oh, Sudan is there. Oh my god, it's Jed Steer. What a save, lad. All his attention to Illbeard. All his attention. Jesus Christ. I try to repay him, he won't have it. It's like fantasy football as a video game. Oh, football with the hand? <laughs> it won't work. Always press Ovedo, pass into box, sure. How's Lapadula doing? 6-6, six, six, you can come off. Ravel, false nine. Madsen, do you want to come off as well? We have Ben Thompson and Brendan Galloway. Let's take Galloway in as halfback. Good. That's a nice one. You mean like John Madden? Who's this Ross Barclay I keep hearing about? <laughs> Where do I stand for a quarter kick? And uh, there's Ravel Morrison with a really tidy free kick. He looked like he didn't even hit that hard. He just sort of glanced at him. Watch this. Uh. <laughs> nice. What a free kick, Ravel. Oh, he loves it. So they spend it. T <laughs> yeah, let, let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's. How would an interview go? Explaining football manager streaming to, I don't know, an American talk show host. Osborne. Shit, far post. Disallowed for offside. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what you get for daring to dream. Who would win in a fight? Tom Brady or Lionel Messi? <laughs> They'll pronounce something wrong. 
They always do. Rian Giggs is a Manchester United soccer player. <laughs> I remember seeing that one. It'll be a funny afternoon if it ever happened. Battered them. All right, we're back into the contention now, up to seventh with six points behind Middlesbrough, who we are playing next. We need to hit form. How has our form been? Not great. QPR next. Christopher Ronaldo. This message brought to you by Thompson Toilet Paper. <laughs> uh. Welcome back. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome back to the great game today Manchester United versus Chelsea we'll be right back after these messages welcome back we'll be right back <laughs> oh dear me and ties <laughs> it's a spot where you aren't dressed up like you're trying to ram a truck one all I was just about to ask you Billy, what's happening I just clicked refresh on the page nothing happened one all that's it. America's heads are going to wobble. Their heads are going to wobble. Training week in review. Gronley's trained really well. Good stuff. Marvel Morrison. Mar Ravel, I understand entirely. Oh, Ravel Morrison has started to turn his career around by accepting, accepting praise and criticism. Oh yeah, sorry, false nine. Just just false nine for you. That's fine. Low deter low decisions but high flair. Just just do stuff. Whatever you think's right, do it. Great finish. Good. Alright, QPR. 90 for Gronley. We'll keep him on. I gotta start with Morrison this game. I wanna see what Ravel Morrison does up on his own for 90 minutes. Let's find out. Pretty much everyone's ready, I think. Burke's calmed down a bit. Nine assists from Gronley, five from Morrison. Five goals from Ravel Morrison. He barely played any games. Hmm. All right. Um, Revenge. Apparently, we lost the QPR last time. Your interest. She's ugly, so. Oh my god. Oh yeah, by the way, um, competition is going for anyone who wants to submit any fan art. The best of it gets a $20 Steam gift card. You got until the end of the month. I think that's pretty good competition, to be honest. Wait a minute. I was just watching. The BBC website, it said England won, USA won, and it had the thumbs up and thumbs down. It had five positive votes, and then suddenly all of them disappeared, and this is the American version of the BBC website. Are they deleting it? <laughs> Conspiracy. Oh, what a tackle. Oh no, Luango. Oof. I'm glad I got Jed Steer back in there. I feel a bit safer now. <laughs> Feels a little bit safer. Okay, I'm gonna wait till 35 and I'll do an encouraged shout to finish it. Try and get a goal before half time, please. It has to be decent quality, Don. It can't just be anything. <laughs> Liam has set the bar. Did you watch what Liam did? Off the crossbar from Burke's head -o. I just watched it happen. Like somebody at the flipping BBC website just deleted and pressed F5. <laughs> Alright, half time. One shot on target. Don't get complacent. Don't get complacent. Where's the complacency one? Shit. Yeah, revenge again will do, and midfield can do something, and this point we defense. Oh, great, We're sending everyone out fine. Ravel, we're going to very cautiously talk to him and say, 
You've been unlucky. Oh, he liked it. He liked Ravel Morrison liked being told he was unlucky. So Ellen White is now top scorer, right? Top scorer was six. Yes, it does. Hudson! Oh, Harrison! Oh, he's offside. No, he missed it. Smashed against the post. So, um, I honestly will be staggered if Football Manager doesn't have a full female football database by next season. It's not the one coming up, the one after that. I'll be staggered. How the rights for it must be almost dirt cheap. The the goodwill that they generate from doing that is would pay for it itself, I'm sure, unless it's unless it really is expensive. But what do I know about building games and licenses? Not much. They should have it in by now. They should have had it in a few years ago. It's a little bit too late. All it is is a database. It's a separate little database. Could even be DLC. Fuck it, DLC, yeah. DLC women, yeah, I'd do that. DLC women, that's something else. That's like episode of Future Armor, Blue C. Lou. <laughs> yeah. Downloadable women content. All right. Oh, it was nil-nil, I thought we, we won. I thought we were one nil up. <laughs> I thought we were one nil up somehow. That was the last game, I'm not paying attention. Team secure playoffs, right. How are we for playoffs? We're five points behind Millsborough who have a game in hand, but we're playing them next, so we absolutely have to smash them. Dill, downloadable ladies. All right, Burt can't play because... Um, he's of a uh, loan. Who can play wide right? Jack Harrison can, but I'm going to have you cut inside. Is that all right? Yeah, you'll find me that. That means we can put Kaputska over there, however he wants to be. Uh, oh, Trek. Nah. Just go inside forward support. Fuck it. That's nicely balanced. I quite like that. But Alan Hutton, I need to put the overlapping guy on, but he's alone. Ah. Corey Smith isn't natural. All right, we'll just keep it as it is. We'll just keep it as it is. All right. We got Middlesbrough after West Brom. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. So as I say, it's, an, it's always been an outside chance of playoffs this year. Well, I'm gonna next next year. I'm gonna we're gonna go and knuckle right down. Promotion next year. What's wrong with you, Gronley? Fuck. All right, Tony Cliff. I put Gronley on the bench. Alan Hudson is injured. Brilliant. All right, Corey Smith. Looks like you're getting your moment. Liam. Good evening, lad. How are you doing? Thanks for whatever that nonsense was you made. <laughs> How have you been? It's a competition open, Liam, by the way. So if you want to do more fan art and it's the best of the fan art I get, you'll get a $20 Steam gift card. It got till the end of January. July, sorry, January. All right, <sighs> cleared off the line. 
Or the only fan out. You've only, you're the only one that's done one consistently. There has been some people that have done some. But they've usually just PM me them. Oh, Phillips. I haven't done any tactics or anything. <laughs> just going through this year. Just link the England goal on Discord. Oh, let's take a peek, shall we? We can link it in the chat here, by the way. It's fine. Stick it in there. Let's have a look. <laughs> She's lucky. That was extremely lucky. Yes, skill, yes, but look, skill, look based skill. Yeah. Interesting one. Oh, what a tackle, I don't see. <sighs> Offside. Holy crap. I'm sorry, I just clicked back on and saw absolute madness in our own box. Here we go, Harrison with the corner to Cooper at the near post. It's out of this, gone in! Yes! It's gone in! Oh no, that's the wrong button! Harrison, near post. Cooper wins the header, of course he does. It's a good save. It's blasted against... <laughs> it blasted against the Norwich guy and hit Hutchinson and went in. That's why you stick your big guys with high bravery as close to the goal as possible. All right, good. A serve. Go get complacent. Their players are going to be pretty tired, as are mine, because we've both just played on Saturday. Right. Gronley, do you want to come on for... I'll tell you what, we'll do... Yeah, Madsen for Gronley. Mr. Tunnycliffe, do you, would you mind doing ball winning midfield to defend? Anyone else knackered? 70 for Maitland Niles. 70 for Cooper. I'll have to keep those up for now. Rapino is not starting. I guess there's a reason for that. And as Harrison has just scored from the right-hand side this time. Good lad. 2-0. I will happily take that. We'll we'll balance this out now, I think. We'll take our foot off. We'll take this, these points as we need to. All right, 70 minutes. I'll take someone else off. Okay, 62, Maitland Niles. We have Ben Thompson, and we can have him ball winning, doing his thing. Here we go. Okay, 80 minutes, 67 for Jack Harrison. Do we have anyone? Shane Ferguson, you can swap sides, right? Yeah, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'll just, I'll do. Two one at USA. Jesus Christ! All kicking off. Has this got four all written on it? Four all, and England win the penalties. Alex Morgan. Oh my god, Cornelius scores. Are you kidding? Ugh. I approve of the scorer. Oh, good, good lad, Fergie. All right, 2-1. I'll take it. Yep, 2-1 win. Well done, lads. Considering we just played less than 48 hours ago. Good. Apparently we were fortunate. I disagree. 
How are you doing? Grange is going up. Billy Koo playing his under 21 championship. Hmm. That's not making it onto my mic, is it? It's either the world's biggest wasp or someone's cutting the grass outside. <laughs> yeah, it's not making the noise gate. Good. Good, good, good. What kind of goal was that? Was it scruffy after a load of pressure? England won't give up, by the way, just so you know. England will not give up. Mills, Millwall 7th, Middlesbrough 6th. So we've got to win if we want that playoff. So we're going to go and attack. Wait, do we have a training match here? Um, no. So we're going to go this. No, can we have a match here? Can we just do an actual match practice there? Thank you. On the, on the Sunday. Yeah. That'll increase our sharpness for this one. Oh, yeah. Stop. I just noticed uh, wrong schedule because that was when we were going for a draw, but we need to go for a win now. So, goals. There we go. 107th international goals. She's just turned 30. Well, they play a lot more games. A lot more. Because they need to get paid. Because they don't get paid as much. All three goals have come from crosses, is that right? Oh yeah, absolutely. How's BQ doing? Significantly over the last two months. Progress as well. Working hard to develop a new trait. Good. Kelly headed for a ward. I don't know why you're telling me that. Millwall's Cahill leaves his agent. How are you as a staffer? We're going to try and keep him as a staff afterwards. Why not? He's a club legend. Saturday has turned professional at 17 years old. His birthday was yesterday. Good. 34 appearances, 3 assists from right back. Nah. Enthusiastic right back. Well, someone's got to try. Data analyst facility is upgraded. Good. 4 4 one, one. Now, That is very defensive. We're going to try and dominate them. Right, let's get the tactic out and ready. Harrison can be there. Burke is back. He's had a rest. He's Burke back a rack. Burke back a rack. Actually, we'll start attacking. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Let's do six. There you go. Let's try that. Corey Smith. Cavare. Let's get him back in. Traditional. Um, personalized it. Yeah, you just standard wing back, not uh, the inside one that we have Hutton doing. We need the legs. So what's happening in the match now? It looks like it's, um, yeah. There's been no highlights on what the type of match is right now. It's just people saying, my heart can't take this.
Now, how many games have we got left? It's not many. We need to win this one to be within an outside chance. Oh, there's three games left. So there's nine points up. Technically, I could bypass Middlesbrough. I don't think I will. Yeah, Middlesbrough has to lose the final three. And I need to win them. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. McLaren loses his cool. I'll take this press conference. Steve McLaren, he's not my friend. McLaren's a lot of experience. Some call it experience. I'm going to really dig. Since he's blew his top in his press conference, I'm going to dig into him. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, we'll go back to the press conference. Yep. Good. Right, so I've just dug in not only Steve McLaren, but his old players. I got some sort of reaction out of it. I don't know what happens. What's going to happen? Okay. Right, so let us do this. Do you know what? Since we want goals, can you just go like roaming playmaker for us? Let's just go for it. Oh fuck, five lone players. We're only six. Okay, Kevar's gotta come off then. That means we have to play Hutton. Oh, Grandley's on the bench. Shit. Oh well. So it's here today, just make sure this attacking midfield is closed down. Curtis Jones, Shadow Striker. Oh, right, okay. Martin Braithwaite. Okay, well, one of these will be the playmaker. Box to box and Clayton. Carolero, where is your creativity coming from? It's coming from him. Stuart Downing is still kicking it. Let's. I think I did this last time. We, we convincingly beat Middlesbrough by just marking Stuart Downing. I think that's what happened last time we played them. Off we go, Burke. He's not going to get caught. He's running diagonally for reasons unknown. Lapadula! Right foot. Fuck. They swap sides. Come on, boys. Cooper, far post, please. Harrison, why? Oh, yeah. That's a terrible corner. Darren Randolph. Long ball. No pressure. Lovely. Oh, lovely ball. Far post to Burke. He's headed it, and he's missed it again. And we scored. He scored that. An own goal. Ostergaard. Apparently, what a start for Middlesbrough. We're not giving up. We, we're we going for this this title. I would love it if we beat them. Love it. Good touch from Harrison. Cut back. And that's a terrible header. And a double toe. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was awful. That was awful. That deserves a... Wait, that deserves a... Yes, it does. Long throw, Lapadula loses it. Harrison heads it down. Oh, <sighs> offside. Come on, let's finish this. Who went, in who went off injured? Oh, okay. Hotton, Blake, Madsen, full stop. Maitland Niles, come on, lad. You haven't done much since the last uh, few games. Great game so far, apparently. We have been all over them. Don't get complacent. 
We'll see Lapadula lad. Not happy with you. Come on. Millie Bright is the woman's slab head. Oh, <laughs> Maguire. Fucking 70 million for Maguire. I don't want to pay it, by the way, if anyone cares. 70 million for Maguire. What is 70 million, though? 70 million is last year's 48. <laughs> well, current England international in his prime wants to leave. Shit. They got lucky. All right, Lapidule, you're off because you're not doing much. Ravel Morrison's got to come on and make something happen again. We've got to throw everything we can at this. If we don't stop them, we're out. Ugh. Long throw from Hutton. Oh, Harrison left foot. Off oh, the crossbar rebound. No. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Encourage. In fact, they paid 50 million for Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Well, Wan, yeah, there is that escalation. Um, but there's a couple of things that Aaron Wan-Bissaka has that Harry Maguire does not. And that is, he's not at his full potential. Was that an overhead kick by Raphael Morrison? Was that an overhead kick? Was that an overhead kick? What happened? Oh, he just loved the keeper. <laughs> he fluffed it and he just stuck it in top of the net. It looked like an overhead kick from that angle. I will take a 2-1. I told you Ravel Morrison will get stuff done. Just throw him on when, when, when things aren't going your way. You get a player like Ravel Morrison, you stick him on, and goals happen. Full time, great. We're still in a chance of promotion. 86 minute winner, passionate. Well done, lads. Ravel, I'm delighted with your goal. Good lad. Came on, made stuff happen. 70 million is a lot for a defender, though. Not anymore. Is it a lot for a defender these days? I don't know. What's a lot for a player these days? 300 million? 500 million? <laughs> I don't know. The prices are all fucking crazy. It's part of the reason I hate it. I hate football at the minute. Which is why I could get into the women's game a lot more. Seems to be a slightly more level playing field. Slightly. And it's all new and exciting. Yeah. What do you say about Zaha's price? There must, there might, I wonder if there's something around. It reminds me of that, was it 40 million and one for um, the Arsenal bid for Thingy because they thought it was over his um, minimum? Oh shit, who was it? Was it Suarez? Yeah, it was Suarez. Yeah, Suarez. It reminds me of that. I wonder if there's something cheeky hanging around. Um. Because it is extremely low ball. What is that Sunderland logo? That's my Donation FC. It's a, a different database that we run. It's just the, the face pack changes for that when we use that database save. So it's nothing to worry about. It's still Sunderland. It's Sunderland with a custom kit and a custom badge. It's still Sunderland. Although they seem to have gotten rid of Lee Catamol, which apparently is impossible. You just got to pay him off, I bet. Hazard went for 80. Well, Hazard is a couple of things. It's not about ability. It's about market ability as well. Two things. Age. Contract length left for Hazard. Wasn't very long, was it? How long was it? Lee, uh, sorry, uh, Blue, are you here? How, how long did Hazard have left on his contract? Because if it was one year, five years on... Yeah, one year. One year left on Hazard. That explains why, because he's probably going to go, I'm, I'm not signing... And they're like, okay, we'll get what we can. So that is a huge part of what valuations are. Length of contract left, wages of contract. 
then things like football come into and also marketing and you know, what they can sell and that that's a huge part of Man United's thing because they can make more money on a player than pretty much anyone in the world I think Real Madrid might be close but make no mistake these all factor into valuations of players how long the contract left is a huge thing yeah yeah, also add-ons as well. Only 80 million up front. They've done really well to get that amount of money from them, though, I think. Chelsea have done really well there. Right, what's happening in the league? What, two games left? All right, two games left. Three points behind. Better goal difference thanks to our incredible defense. Middlesbrough, who are you playing? Please be a big club. Please be a big club. Birmingham and Villa. They got Villa on the last day. And I dig, I dig, I dug out McLaren in the press. If we don't choke and just win our final two games, I hope they will. All right. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to start. I'm going to start with Morrison because we need goals. <laughs> There we go. I just don't understand the Zaha transfer at all. I'm sure they've got data to back up why it's so expensive. They'll have something on his Opta stats or something that specifically Arsenal are lacking or require. Palace seem to be milking it, absolutely. How aggressive they came out this morning saying, 40 million's a disgrace, Puh. I wonder. I wonder if A, there's a release or something, and B, um, how aggressive it was was so suspicious to me. Arsenal lack money, do they? If they sell Obama Young to United, we'll be all right. <laughs> They'll be all right then, right? <laughs> Palace would be nothing without... If, if it's signed Wan-Bissaka, yeah. 50 million for a youth pro prospect with some additions on it. Fine. That's all right. Um, but yeah, what would Palace be without Louis... Without Zaha? I said Louis Zaha. <laughs> without Zaha, what would Palace be? They'd be... struggling against relegation unless they replace with something equally as good for less money. It's hard to do. Can happen though, especially with King Roy in charge. All right, beat Portsmouth. Should be easy to do. When did Portsmouth change their badge? What year was that? Was that after like a bankruptcy or buyout or something? It looks very different from what I remember. Did Lichstein leave, by the way? Oh, Ravel's turned his man perfectly. Far post cross to Burkus, missed it. Oh, God. <laughs> Mac Gilvery missed it. He shouldn't have come out for that. And Millwall fans are in raptures. They got that Brazilian striker today that no one's heard of. Ravel Morrison skinned that guy. Oh, my word. Far post cross and keeper flipped it. Are you a Millwall fan? Not a chance, Liam. I just chose Millwall because why not? I play several saves each year. I just think, why not? To a lot of them. Also, um, I had a very specific play style in mind, this anti-football. Um, and it worked with the players that Millwall had in the first season. We had this sort of, this defense, very defensive system. And they already had most of the players for it, including an actual defensive winger, like three ball winning midfielders. They had loads of people for it. So I chose them. York City next year, why? <laughs> I actually made a promise to Nottingham Forest fans because I started a save and I was like, I burnt out on FM, so I stopped it. I think Forest will be one of the first ones we do. Um, but I will probably start outside of England again because that was good. The Hamburg save was fantastic. Back to uh, promotion and losing. Promoting Hamburg from Bundesliga Zwei or whatever, Bundesliga 2. And then losing the title on head-to-head -head with Leverkusen. 
from promotion. I was so close with with our with our burger themed team. <laughs> Louis Salad, Scott McTomati. <laughs> that was good. I need to go. I need to load that up and have a look at that save again. Oh, Morrison's turning everyone with all his technique. Beautiful Hutton. Oof. Okay, counterattacks on because Hutton has pace of nine, and it's showing. Ah, he's pulling a train. Cooper, oh no! What a that's set! Oh, he hit the bar. Oof. All right, 60 minutes in. We need to win to keep promotion alive. Who is tired? No one really. Okay, Ravel Morrison has assisted one goal. Oh no! Apparently Oliver. Oh, it's just no assist there. Let's swap Niles for for Gronley just for set pieces and we can rest him. Okay. Who do you support? For me, Sins. I'm a United fan. I'm an old United fan. I always do that. When people ask me who, when people ask me who I support, I say I'm a United fan, but then I automatically go, but I'm a I'm from Manchester. B a season ticket holder I was before I moved, and and C I was a United fan before they were even fucking good. I see, why do I have to qualify that? Is it because I have disdain for all United fans that came after the Glory Hunters? I think it probably is. Is it disdain? Do I feel myself better than them? It's tough. It's tough to actually say. It's tough. All right, Gronley far post. Hutchison! Oh! Gronley set pieces are so good. Liverpool are better. Right now, yeah. It all comes. Peaks and troughs. All that. Swings and roundabouts. Oh, do we score again? Another is our own goal. What more with an own goal? What happened then? Alan Hutton with a casual ping. Ravel Morrison out. Through on goal. Oh, shh. He went for the other corner. It deflected. It went to the near post. Yeah, that's a point. But then, you know, from 99, well, call it 98 to 2014. That's the glory years for United, as I see it. Chef United being interesting with Ravel in there if he signs his contract. Absolutely. Well, we love a little of Ravel. Revolutionary. Uh oh. And okay, full time. 2 0. Right, we've done our part. We're going to have a look and see how Middlesbrough did. If Middlesbrough won, I think it's over. But I did suck their morale out publicly and on the pitch. Wonder how they'll do. All right, full time. Full time whistle goes. Millsborough 1 2 1. I think that's it. If it is it, I'm going to play the use. Oh, playing top of the league as well. Fuck. Uh, oh, no, we're still in it. We need to beat Bristol on the final day. And Huddersfield have to lose against Swansea, who have just secured their survival. Right. Okay. Fuck it. Do you know what? Let's just do training again. And we'll stick on the goals one. Goals, goals, goals. And I'll stick in an extra fucking match as well. No, just leave it at that. We need to score. Bristol, we need to win. We need to beat Bristol. I think they have... Are they champions? No. In fact, they're not... Oh, shit. They're... <laughs> They're fighting for automatic promotion. Crap. Still passion for him? No, I've well, two of them I've kept. Two of his uh, two of his templates I've kept, Ivan's, um, but I've done two of my own as well. His goals one works, as far as I can tell. Although one week we didn't score a goal and I got suspicious. Call him loser pool. You can't talk shit when they're fucking winning everything. You can't do it. Oh yeah, you'll find I'm a different United fan than most, whereas I I recognize the similarities between Liverpool and Manchester United and you know, more than most. They're very, very similar. Yes, in personalities. 
but we can all agree that we all like City, right? <laughs> Death to all oil clubs. Follow, starting with C. <laughs> starting with C. Yeah, so yeah, someone mentioned it before. Jay Adams, we're gonna win the league on his fucking, on his reveal. Nobody likes C. Nobody likes oil clubs. And if they do, the liars. Nobody likes PSG. Nobody likes any of those Russian clubs. Nobody likes them. Money just the only thing the only thing that I like about City, this is I've talked about this before. If you if you've ever been in Manchester, in fact, if you got the train to Piccadilly at any point in like before the buyout and you went through on the train or walked around Ardwick, Ardwick was a shithole. It was where all the prozies hung out. It's full of fucking drugs. It looked like do you remember this is what I always think. If you remember the opening scene of Terminator 2 when there's those fucking tanks scrolling over skulls and debris, that's what it looked like. <laughs> that's what Ardwick looked like before that buyout. And if you look at Manchester now, Ardwick, Sports City, whatever you call it now, that surrounding area looks fantastic. And a massive part of that is due to the hundreds of millions that that flipping shake has poured into the club so he can show it off to his mates. So I've got no problem with that. No problem. The Red Bull clubs, yeah, similar, similar thing. Uh, the Roman Predator, what do you think is going wrong with United? Literally problems at the back. Yeah, problems at the back causing problems at the front. And um, we've seen to have fixed the problems at the front for now. Oli Solskjaer, though, by the way, he's bulletproof right now. For about five years, no one at United is going to be mad at Oli Solskjaer. doesn't matter what happens. Barring him flipping, executing someone's dog live on flipping Monday Night Football, I think he's safe. Everyone's figured out it's not him. It's not the manager that's the problem. He needs time to run down people's contracts and sell people on who don't want to be sold, which is the big problem. Because there's no way Chris Smalling wants to leave, Phil Jones doesn't want to leave, Rojo doesn't want to leave when they're on Champions League wages and they're not Champions League players. They're just going to stay there. So those contracts need to go. He needs time. And I think a lot of the contracts that were signed after Solskjaer arrived were agreed be beforehand. A lot beforehand. Pogba thinks he owns the club and uh, he makes a lot of money for everyone. Right, we need to win this and uh, Huddersfield need to lose. I'm going to keep the same. Ravel Morrison scored four and assisted six. Oh, he's played more games than I thought, but we did play a different system. I'm going to keep Morrison up here. He makes things happen. I think Ev that's pretty much the first team, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much the first team. All right, boys, let's go. This team, team of loanies. We've got we've got City as a parent club, by the way. By the way, which is why you'll see a couple of City uh, loanies for free. All right, playoff spot. More to come from you. Pressure's off. Go out, enjoy yourself, Ravel. The worst front office, well, I have to keep making... It depends what the owners want, and the owners want to make money, not necessarily win trophies. It's the main problem. Yeah, Woodward doesn't have a clue about football. The important thing about that is Ed Woodward still makes money. It's, it's no problem. No, not pro you see the Pro Evo? United have got a long-term agreement with Konami. <laughs> Uh, and they don't have the Champions League license on Pez. <laughs> so United will constantly make money. It's whether or not the Glazers want to start winning football trophies, and they won't. And first chance, first chance we get, I want them out. Do a fucking crowdfund. Do a Kickstarter, buy them out. <laughs> Oof, nearly, come on. All right, hang on. Let's have a look at what's happening in the rest of the... Um, latest scores. There we go. Huddersfield. Uh, not playing till tomorrow. Brilliant. <laughs> Unless they've already played and I don't know about it. Let's double check. Oh, no. They've already played. 
Oh, Middlesbrough. Back to Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough, if we win, and Middlesbrough continue to draw against Villa, who are a good club. Oh, shit. United is sporting director. Yeah, but they won't do one because that removes commercial power away from Ed Woodward. It's not quite as doom and gloom as, as a lot of United fans make out financially. Those like city 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 owners put a billion into you know into city and united have taken a billion out they haven't it's not quite as bad as that it's not quite as, it's not as black and white as people seem to make it out they hear the word debt and think it's a bad thing it's not in other things we just need them out though could have mike ashley or stan kronka well stan kronka's done all right right he's just a bit stubborn <laughs> but yeah mike ashley I will cut my blessings every day. We don't have Mike Ashley there. Imagine if we sold it to Michael Knighton. Anyone remember that name? And he turned out to be a Mike Ashley. Go on, boys. All right, concentrate. All right, we need to win this now, fellas. Come on. Still nil-nil for Middlesbrough. Good. Teen talk. Aggressive. I'm going to fucking fire him up. For the pundits. For Alan Hansen. Let's do it. Alan Hansen. Oliver Burke. Not happy. I'm going to absolutely fire everyone up. Great. Morrison. I should have subbed him, really. Okay. Lapidule is a big game player. We need a big game performance now. Go. Go. Kronka's worth in the Blazers. Doesn't have good money. Oh, right. So. We... Well. Oh, fuck off. Right. Okay. Gron Leap for Madsen. We need to win this game. You can go Mezala, right? Yep. There we go. There we go. All right, we need to win this game, fellas. Need to win this game. You're gonna give us a pity fuck, AI. Nope. Oh my god. That's the, the best double save I've ever seen. And it happened today. Today. It happened today. And here comes a counter. What a tackle of. Let's do it. Come on, encourage. Let's, um, yep, encourage. Come on. Of course, it means nothing if Middlesbrough flipping score. Our goal difference is like the best because of our, because we spent three quarters of the season playing very defensive. Pressure, pressure, pressure. This is an incredible save. Flipping McClosco. I remember him. Come on, Hudson, lad. Oh, he's got... No! Oh, Lapadula! Oh, my God! Why can't he score on his right foot? Fuck! All right, free kick from Gronley's like, going to be our best chance to score, I think. Off the post! Cooper, the rebound! He saved it again! Ilvid, you're late. <laughs> we needed some luck earlier. Basically, we need to win this game to have a chance of playoffs. And it's the final game of the season. Overlap left in invert right. Okay, go. You've got half an hour. Don't panic. Gronley's our best chance of a goal. Shit. Here we go, Hutchison. So Gary Pallister is on the wing right now, just like at United. 
Gary Pallister is on the wing. He's going to cross it to someone at the far post. Lapadula's there. Tony Cliff. Where's Cooper? He's there. Fuck. Oh, hello. Oh my God. Keep it up. Keep it going. That's it. Recycle. Why is Hutchison still there? It doesn't matter. We've just done that pass. I'm getting deja vu here. Oh, fuck. 2-1-2. Two, two. It's away. Actually, at least he's quick. Oh, it's Maitland Niles. Now there's a big... You should be there. You should be there. You should have swapped over. He is completely free. Apaya is completely free. Okay. We've been fucking robbed. We're being fucking robbed here. We've had this goalkeeper pull off a string of amazing saves from like three yards out. This is absurd. What a tackle from Hutchison that was. We're not giving up. Go on, Berkey. Pace of 18. There he goes. Oh, the back. He's done it. <laughs> What a finish. Have it. Let's go. All right. Long throws from Hutton have been very useful. However, I don't think it's fully set up correctly for this system because Hutchison's there. Where the fuck is Cooper? I mean, Lapadula's not actually shit in the air. All right, Alan. 15 minutes to go, fellas. We can do this. I think I'll take that. I think I'll take that. Boosh! Skulls. Skullsy too. All right, we got... 15 minutes. How are Millsborough? Millsborough still drawing, so... Are we on equal points? What is happening exactly? Let's just go back to the table. <laughs> League table. Oh, hang on. We're drawing. If we win, we'll only be on 70. I think that... I don't think we can. They need to... Millsborough need to lose. But they're drawing. So it could be for naught. Come on, Villa. Do us a favor. All right. Okay. Um, not much else to do there, is there? Go. Um, wait to 80 minutes, and I'll stick. Concentrate on because we're not. We're gonna get one more chance. You always get one more chance when the games are like this. Concentrate. It's gonna piss some people off, but. I barely shouted, so they shouldn't be. Here we go. Long throw again. Burke's hit the crossbar. We've hit the woodwork three times. Oh, looks like that's it. <sighs> they drew. Doesn't matter. It didn't matter in the end, but fucking hell. Bristol are top of the league. I think we might have just... Actually, what have we just done to the top? Bristol were first going into this game. That was unlucky. What a goal from uh, Gronley, though. I'll just uh, praise him for that. Well done, lad. Bristol were first going into this game. They continued to be first because Villa didn't win. Burnley are in the playoffs. That means we're... Shit. It's two points. Well... We weren't really pushing for playoffs this year until the final two months. Hmm. Oh, well, that's the end of the season, I guess. Clear entire team. Let's start to the rebuild, shall we? Right, let's finish this. Move over a day. Aston Villa promoted with Bristol. So Bristol are in the Premier League. 
and Burnley might not go back up. Right, what to replace? A couple of things. We've got... Oh, right, okay. Following players, best 11. Lapadula got best 11. We haven't had a single good striker. Eight goals in 35. I know we weren't expecting him to score goals in the first, like, eight months <laughs> of the season. All right. Fans player of the year again, Jake Cooper. 74%. He is ridiculous when he's coupled with Gronley, who's the second, and Meredith third. Meredith, the unions last year. I got another year of Meredith. Okay, we can need to replace him, though. Signing of the season was Jed Steer, who ended up being a uh, replacement for Archer. We sold him on. But he's, he's going down because he's in, he was injured. Young player of the season, Gronley again. It's his second year with us, and he's getting better. Nine assists this year. Most of them free kicks and corners. Stats. Top goal scorer with eight. Yeah, we need to fix that. Eight goals in 35 games. That needs to change. We've got the new signing coming in. Anyway, other stats. Highest average rating, Jake Cooper, 7.25. Most assists, nine. Gronley, because he's taking every free kick. Best pass completion, Sean Williams. You need to replace you. Or at least get a starter in front of you. Man of the match rewards, Cooper, four. Most red cards, Ryan Tunnicliffe, three. <laughs> okay. Squad dynamics, Cooper, Williams, and Hutchinson. End of season team meeting. Plans, uh, playoff. But I'm going to say top half. Good. Yeah, they reacted well to that. Playoffs, at least. Please the number of goals he's seen score for set pieces, because that's one of our philosophies. And that loss to Swansea cost us in the end. Jesus Christ. Corey Smith was injured five times. Eight times Trevor Harris. Corey, yeah, you know, five times. Jesus. Preseason start date. Uh, we'll do four weeks. And now we will start to cull things. Let's move these under 16 guys down into the under... Oh, to the reserves. You're good enough. Why not? All right. Players on loan. Frank Kirby just came on. How's the game going? Is it like slowed down? Is it the Americans slowing it down? Okay. Goalkeeper Jed Steer is adequate. Adequate for our needs. We can look for a better one. Joe Hilton is not good enough to be our second keeper. So he's gone. Eric Garcia was on loan from City. He played once because he was injured immediately. I don't want to break up Hutchinson and Cooper, so we've got Murray Wallace as three. Alan Hutton's 35. He's getting no pace. He's wanted. He's not a great coach. Bolton wants him. Okay, set for release. I love you, Alan Hutton, but uh, it's time to go. We had a, you had a great year with us, to be honest. Three man of the matches. Good. Set for release. Okay, so let's move him. Dimitri Cavare. He was on loan. Did pretty good, but he's actually kind of what we want. Consistent and big matches with pace. Knocks ball past the opponent because he can't dribble. Injury prone, and he's only a League One level player. Okay, we can let him go. Move him to number 20. Okay, Williams, last year for you, and you're a good influence on those youngsters, so you can stay. James Meredith. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, Williams. 2021, right? Yeah, okay. Meredith, 32, final year for him. Big match, consistent player. Again, pace is the issue. He can stay because his contract's not up. I probably won't play him, though. Maitland Niles, please let me renew him for another year. They will let me. I will take it. Thank you very much. Maitland Niles will stay on loan for another year, and I think we're all very happy about that. Brendan Galloway, we signed him for 205k. He's backup. That's it. He's just a backup, but he stays backup. Uh, Brian Olivan, you spent the inside. Oh, now he's finally becoming natural at left back. So that's his saving grace. He's got one more year to prove himself useful. But he was free. So mid-season free, by the way. So that's interesting. 
Big matches and consistent. Guess forward, plays one twos. Those are nice things for our little overlapping wing backs we're probably going to be using to actually win matches. Uh, Shane Ferguson. Oh, no, sorry. Corey Smith injured a lot. He was free as well, wasn't he? Okay. One year left. Big matches, consistency, box to box. Let's see if he can stay fit. If he can, yeah, you can keep his space in the squad. That's about it. Okay, Shane Ferguson. Only good if we play the scumbag. But even then, he's not great at being. He's he's not okay. He's good at being a defensive winger, but his other attributes aren't very good at all. His current ability is the league below, and he's not training well. I think we'll try and sell him again. Yeah, okay, let's do, let's go 675k, yeah, that's what we'll do. Nicholas Madsen, oh yeah, another loan for him for three years, that'll be pretty good. No, they're not going to do that. I could, in, okay, inquiry, I'd like to keep him because of his stays back at all times attribute and his decent passing from there, if not we'll have to replace him. Ryan Tunnicliffe, the heart and soul of the team, but I think as um, we move in this season, he won't be as useful as he will be next season. Because next season, if we, if sorry, if we get promoted, we'll be playing the the very defensive tactic, which means he'll be very useful. But right now, he's a backup. But he's oh yeah, eight k, so it's not a lot. And got one more year. We'll see how this works. Ben Thompson can go because you're basically Ryan Tunnicliffe, but worse, and he's yeah. He's going already on a free. Callum Hume is on loan. 19-year-old guy that our director of football insisted on getting for 325k. Four assists from 20-odd games. No man of the matches. I don't think he'll ever be. Currently operating at Skybet level 2. So this was a terrible sign and this is why I shouldn't let the director of football talk me into it unless he's amazing. I'll stick him in the reserves. Ryan Leonard. Decent all-rounder, to be honest. Uh, one more year left for him. Skybet League. One player. Okay, just a uh, saving grace of a long throw. But uh, other than that, very fun first teamy. Luca Rizzo did nothing after we moved to a more aggressive system. On loan, he can go. Gronley, two years left. Getting better every year. Uh, building the team around him and his, uh, his set-piece threat. Great. He stays. Skalak. He's got two years left on his contract and he's garbage. Hugs the line, but his pace is terrible. Try and sell him. Just get him off the wage bit because he's on 16k. He's on twice as much as the other first team. I'm just never playing. Oliver Burke, I want to keep you. They're not going to do that. Value is not. I'm going to make an inquiry. I want to keep Oliver Burke if we can. If not, I want to keep Jack Harrison. They'll do it. City will do it because they're reasonable people. What about the other guy? Um, Harrison and who's the other one? Roberts. There we go. Patrick Roberts. Contract is up. Yes, please. Villa and Bologna. Right. Yes, I want him. Make an inquiry. Yep. Okay, I want Patrick Roberts. So I'll have Roberts on that side. We'll play Harrison on that side. Oh, they can both swap pretty much. They're pretty much good at that. Okay. Patrick Roberts is on a free. Good. Any more City players on freeze? Collins Tanner. Nope. Tom Deli. That guy. Rowan McDonald. <laughs> okay. Yep, no one else. Right. Let's go back to us. Kapuska. Uh, maybe we'll revisit him, but he came pretty much pointless. Kirkvold is off. Lapadula, you have failed to perform 
Ever since they nerfed your finishing stat from 17 to 12, you have become less and less effective. Yeah, this is a problem. Tom Bradshaw, um, you can stay, but you are transfer listed and lower division clubs are interested. I'd sell you just to get you off the wage. Other than that, yeah, Lapidula died a long time ago, Martin. I just brought him back for all time's sake. Like that year he scored 54 goals. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else has stayed the same. I think the engine's changed slightly, but more than that, the finishing moving from 17 to 12. Hmm. Two all. Yes. Go on, England. Penalties. Penalties in England to win him. Right, so that's pretty much it. Ravel staying, obviously. We're going to need to keep... We, every team needs a Ravel Morrison. I mean, just to keep the social workers in, employed. <laughs> He's had quite a little career, hasn't he? One appearance. Champions League winning year at United. Hint of offside, but uh, any VAR? Okay. Right. Money. How much money's? I don't have much money's right now. Oh, we're getting looked at now. Fuck. VAR's a travesty. going. We go again, hashtag. He just said that. Alright, okay. VAR is the worst thing to happen to football ever. Demand more. Phil, shout concentrate. Long shot attribute would be amazing in women's games. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, what do we do with Dejan Joveljic? I'm going to ask for a work permit. He's still not an international, though. I shouldn't have probably done that. But I wonder if we could sell him. We paid a million for him. I think we can probably get 15 or plus at least. And maybe even a nice little buyback. Who knows? All right. Let's write this down then. Fair few players needed. Okay, primary column one. We definitely need right back and left back. Column two, based on potentials, we need to confirm the defensive midfielder, hopefully that lone guy again, the right winger, a left winger, Maitland Niles is confirmed, and we've already got one striker coming. So we definitely need a right back and a left back, and then defensive midfielder, right winger, left winger, striker. Let's see how that works. Expiring, not dying. We'll have a quick look tonight. Uh, expiring in three months. So by value. Dodo, is he still going? Is he half Italian still? Portuguese even. Yeah. Okay, so there's a left back who I could actually put a bid in for right now, and he seems to be rather good. I mean, that is a Premier League quality player. Do you speak English? He speaks basic English. 
How was the season? Not particularly fruitful in terms of games. Yes, there is, Martin. Are they, uh, are the Americans, like, cheating already with 20 minutes to go? It's like cheating. Are they, uh, playing football correctly with 20 minutes to go? Pace 10? Ooh, like that. How much would you like? 27 grand. How much are you going to come down? Yeah, I'll promise you that. Let me know how much you want a week because I reckon it's going to be a lot, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Mohamed Diami. Do do. Javi Mankilo. That's not a stupid sign. Big matches and consistent work permit unlikely. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Nolito. <laughs> Got his payday at City, alright, didn't he? <laughs> Seven million signing on for you, something stupid. Good friend, Benna. Charlie Austin! Yes, please! I'll take a Charlie Austin anytime. Let's, um. Yeah, he's old, I know, but still. The movement and finishing alone should bang in 10, 15 goals. Seventh. We finished seventh. We own these. We own, the, real, the great thing about that is actually, let's have a look. As an indicator, look where we were when we sort of stopped playing the defensive football. It's just stuck seventh for the last month. Bullshit. We did all right. That's, we did all. We did way better than what fucking 16th again. Over over cheap again. Charlie Austin because he'll always score against me. Jordy Classy won't be stupid either. He's got the aggressive. Yeah, he'd fit, he'd fit in, wouldn't he? Absolutely would. Yep, he'd absolutely fit in. James McCarthy. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's a defensive midfielder for you. Bit injury prone, though, right? Yep. Yeah, I don't mind James McCarthy, to be honest. He's in his prime. He is a bit of a dirty boy, though, but um, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, Loic Remy. <laughs> ben Arthur. 33 year old. Alright. Connor Wickham, Ashley Young, <laughs> retiring. Ashley Young's finally retiring. <laughs> All right. Timothy Chandler. Long throws, please. Oh, yeah, I'd like my right back with long throws, please. Is that possible? Let's start looking for any right back that's interested in us with a good long throw, and then we'll build the rest around. All right, okay, Sebastian Young, Wolfsburg. Mm -hmm. Okay. Time wasted at 72 minutes. Jesus. United? Am I confused? Oh, I'm confused him with um, other American right back. <laughs> it's 
the second time you said been doing it all game. Are you a bit? Are you a bit into this one, Blue? Okay, we'll come back to that at another point. Let's us have another quick look at the left back, actually. Now let's pick our ideal left back and see what we can find. So we want acceleration, pace, stamina, natural fitness, work rate, and teamwork as a base. Okay, let's knock this down, see what we can get. 14. Guy from Strasbourg. Let's go to 13, though. Matthew Target requested a transfer. Uh, how much? On loan from West Brom. Let's make an inquiry. Matthew Target would be good. Andreas Paulson. Ooh, hello. Yes, please. Long throws 18. Very handy. Where's he on loan from? Once you got back. Oh, no other ones at this time. Matthew Target's the best one for us, I think. Okay, the flying playmaker slash defensive midfielder, that's going to be McCarthy. We have Bronley and Maitland Niles. We need right winger. Like an actual winger, as in pace, stamina, work rate, dribble, flare, cross. Let's see what we can do for that. Benevento Ricardo Improta. That's a great name. Natural Fitness 17. Oh yeah, both sides as well. Useful. 1.8 mil. That's a lot though for us. Unless we get some more money. Michael Jacobs from Wigan. 13. Oh, he's a 13 man. 13, 13, 13, 13, 14. Okay. I think I was thinking about Chong for this this time. Because uh, in January we did look at Tate Chong. And he was available for loan. I wonder if we could loan him now. No, nothing yet. Because he's not in. Oh, let's make an inquiry. Yeah. Chong would be decent for us. And left winger, I've already got one lined up in Harrison. And Roberts. So striker, we got one come guy coming in on a free, but we do need to replace him with something really good. Let's go deep life forward attack, as someone suggested. A try again. Oh, come on. There we go. Bonatini again. Two mil Bonatini. And who's this other guy in China? But he's going to be on a fortune. 77 grand a week. I mean, I'd like him. Driven as well. Jesus. Who's he played for? I'm not fucking the team. Who's he played for? No one. He's been in China for. A long time. Brazil, China, why not? Take your money. Take your money and run. <laughs> Sorry. Right, um staff wise. VAR for England pen? Are they VAR in it? Okay. Is she fouled? Was she fouled? You Calloran, thank you for the follow, mate. It's been a really dead night. I didn't realize there's so many people playing watching in the play. 48. Alright, um, staff-wise, we're okay for staff. We've still got the best staff in the league. 
training facilities doing being done what's being done now um youth facilities are going up training facilities will be done by october data analyst already done what can i replace off the board here There's not much I really need. This 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 um, chairman, by the way, is a really good chairman. He wants to stay, right? Finances are okay. He loves the club. It doesn't. Yeah, 1.8 mil at the end of the season. So we're operating profit this season. Lost 10 mil, but we didn't sign some players. Gronley's looking fairly tidy now. Penalty given? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Penalty given. Alright, how's this gonna fly? Era penal. Are the Americans like digging up the fucking penalty spot and shit? I'll never forget that thing that they did on the, the US on the on the open. I'll never forget that. Who's taking a penalty? Come on, I should probably turn this on at some point. <laughs> Sign Gromley long term, it's probably a good idea. I mean, we've got two years left. It's two years with 21. I guess we can offer a new contract. Just signed a new deal. Yeah, let's have a look at other deals that we could do. Let's go and have, actually, let's have a look at Javeljic has two years as well, but no work permit just yet. The application is going through now. I think even if he turns, the, so even if he's um, denied a work permit now, Dodo wants a fucking fortune. Of course he does. Walk away. Yes! 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 That's it. We're up. That's it. Striker's done. Strike. Oh, I saved the fucking pen. Oh, of course they did. Of course, England penalties, etc., etc. <laughs> That's it. Another peno out. Are you sure it's saved, or have you just said saved? Steph Houghton's gonna take it. We're gonna have Dejan Joveljic, the man himself, who's just signed for. Frankfurt, right, in real life. I don't need to look at Gianluca Guaudino. I'm sure he's good. Let's have a look, though. With a name like Guaudino, it better be good. I see nothing very special there. Poor balances. Let's get ripped apart in the Premier League. I get challenged. Balance nine, strength seven, bullied. Jov Elgic himself. What a what a what a season at Valladolid. I bet it's his favourite club or something. now. Oh no, not quite. Great that he's finally here. That one million pound investment really paid off. We're gonna have him. We're gonna have it. Right, uh, what, Jov Eldritch? Yeah, he's ridiculous. He's the best, he's the best youngster you can sign in this game. He's one million pounds in the first season, guaranteed. Million, guaranteed. Even even Millwall can get him. Jov Eldritch, indeed. Right, yeah, I'm gonna end the stream there. Um, there is a small chance, in fact, no, sorry, I won't be on tomorrow. I'm actually recording a video with a friend, yes. A video game related video. Uh, so that's Wednesday. Thursday, uh, we'll be back with more football manager. It's going to be mainly preseason and probably some F1 stuff. Um, and then Saturday is the start of the F1 league, which we're going to be doing Saturday early evening in England, from like six o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. And there's going to be a little league. I'm going to be streaming it and uh, it's going to be pretty fun. Yeah. All right. So. See you soon.
Take care. Thanks for watching. See you next time.